hi everybody hi. nerds around the world hello there um welcome to our uh friday night one shot um tonight we're going to be doing a, something a little spooky um which i'm very excited for uh it's just gonna be a little um a little bit ominous but a little bit fun too uh Quick, a couple of quick things uh, to do before we get started. Um, first thing, our music that I'm using tonight uh, was done by Kevin Macleod. Um, you can find his stuff on YouTube. Um, so you also, what can you guys so, hear that? Oh yeah, that's nice. Thank you. Um, Second thing is we do have uh, two other shows that run weekly that are our weekly campaigns. The next one coming up is Hemlora, which is tomorrow night. It goes live at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern. And our second one uh, actually just aired last night. Um, just had its oh. premiere. So if you're looking for a new campaign to jump in on uh, that doesn't take a lot of catch up. <laughs> you can check out our air off campaign at um let's see it's 7 p.m gmt because it is our euro time zone game 2 p.m eastern 2 p.m eastern thank you um we also will be having a third campaign starting up on may 3rd uh called pantheon and that is a friday night i believe that'll be coming back into the friday time slot um oh goodness gracious they're not looping it's fine <laughs> um so yeah and then uh rick horrocks is the person who does our music on all of our other nights so you should definitely check out his work as well what is that um <laughs> hey, hey boss before we kick this thing off uh i think our uh, cameras are a little janky right now uh currently i think uh uh Faye is the or uh, mandara is the only one that is currently right is there any way we might be able to quick make that quick adjustment before we <laughs> kick this thing off i mean I'm, I'm, yeah who, who turned that camera off then <laughs> right, so who's wrong? Right. All right. So, uh, so, uh, cameras off. Yeah, everyone but five cameras off. We'll do that before it's we start. Because I don't need anyone else. Just look at me. Only you and me. Hello. <laughs> so, you, you, Mia. Yep. You turn your camera uh, on. Okay, I think it is Bort next. I think. Bort, turn camera on. Hello. Yep. Uh, fail, oh, failing, fucking Drew. <laughs> uh, and I don't know who you're Jab about. Jabari. And a Got what? And a Rojo. Right, you guys ready? Yeah. Right, ready with you, Fay? Okay? You said oh. spooky, right? You said oh, spooky. Spooky. She said spooky. Yeah. I, I did uh, say spooky. I, it's I, all happening. I, I, I heard you. I thought you said we were playing hooky. And I'm uh, not ready for what we're doing. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> I'm actually going to, before we get started, um, have everyone introduce their characters. Um, just quickly say your name and your race. If you want to give a general description, you can. You don't have to. Um, but everyone in this group uh, already knows each other. So there won't be really introductions that need to be made. So if you could just tell everyone. Uh, let's go with um, Ymir. You go first. Uh, well, hi. My character's name is Ymir. Uh, he's a dragonborn fighter. Uh, he's a sailor. So he's been he's been sailing around most of his life, and he joined the party through Tableg, which was his uh, his oldest friend. Yeah, uh, I, I play Tableg, a uh, wood elf rogue. Um, there's a a, a, a difficult. Um, storied pass between Ymir and Tableleg. Mostly when things get bad at the bar, Ymir steps in, but the person starting the stuff at the bar is Tableleg. It's a give and take, and uh, we, we do fine. We've done fine. Yeah, yeah, fine. We do okay. All right, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm also a thief, so tell your friends. Okay. Uh, Jabari, you want to go next? Yeah, sure thing. Hi, uh, I'm Jabari. I am playing a human variant uh, druid, Circle of the Shepherd. That's a fun one. Uh, yeah, he's kind of a young boy, uh, kind of Native American style. He's got some long, raggedy hair, and mm -hmm. kind of like 
got some hints of white as well. It's got like some mm. feathers tied into it. It's just very happy and excited. <laughs> Excitable boy. Amazing. Okay. Um, let's see. Bort, you want to go? Sure. Um, I'm Samurai Sigman. I'm playing Bort. Uh, Bort is a a turtle bard, uh, and he's very stupid. He probably joined your party by accident, um, by oh. wandering in out of the woods and thought you guys looked cool, so hung out with you. That explains it. Yep. Good, good. All right, and then uh, Roger, if you want to finish us out. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm Fubar. I'm playing Roger. He's a wood elf, uh, moon druid. So got two druids, except mine's going to be a little more uh, barbaric in a sense. Uh, yeah, he's just pretty much a guy who wears as little as possible, his hairs and dreadlocks. And uh, you can't really tell when the last time he's bathed. Uh, but he ended up smelling Bort and following him to the party. Probably like, smelled of fish or some kind of seafood. Uh, something about you just interesting. Bort is a turtle, if I didn't mention that. He's a turtle boy. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you mentioned that or not. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, let's jump in. <clears throat> Your small party of investigators received a contract this morning. Your objective... Yes. Figure out the truth behind the rumors of this house and put an end to it. So, you all packed up your gear in preparation for the night ahead. You've been trucking through the woods at a leisurely pace for some time. The light rainfall that beats down upon your skin has made the ground beneath you soft, occasionally giving way in the presence of too heavy a step. You were half a mile away from your intended destination when Roger heard, fo heard footsteps behind you. What? Something was following you. A lot of somethings. Too many. Not able to identify exactly what was chasing you, you all turned quickly on your heels and charged full force ahead towards the building, hoping to outrun the state. The new run, just... run, everybody. Yeah. Listen, if we, we're only, the only reason we're walking leisurely is because Bort apparently is made of b b b clay. Go, 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 go. The new moon does nothing to light up the path in front of you, causing you to stumble forth into darkness. Hammering footsteps, heavy breathing. Stray branches of trees manage to lash at your skin as you speed past. Ah. Louder than anything else is the sound of your own heartbeat pounding in your ears. What do you do? Ah! <sighs> okay. Uh, there's a door. Is there a door? Yes. Yeah, so you, uh, you're actually still a couple hundred feet out from the building itself. You, you're still like in the woods, and there, there are things behind you, and they're, they're padding behind, like, bum, 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 bum. like it sounds like hundreds of footsteps just coming after you. Every man for himself, go, go for the door. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, let go. Great. As, okay. I, as I'm running, as I'm running, I go, Ymir, stay and fight. You can hold them off. And I keep running. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I say, I'm not gonna do that, buddy. And I, I take off running too. Stop it. Stop. Bort is slow, so he's a little bit behind the rest of the party, just running as hard as he can. I'll, I'll stay with Bort. It's like, come on, buddy, you're you're doing great. It's like just just a few more, few more jogs and steps, and we'll be right there in that house. Bort glad he has a friend like Jabari. Yes, he's so strong. But you should probably hurry up just a little bit. Bort casts invisibility on himself and Jabari. <laughs> Okay, oh, okay, great. me too. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Great, perfect. Um, <laughs> I thought you were about to leave him there. I, I just, like, okay. I feel like a, I feel like a half-naked uh, elf druid runs up alongside me and Ymir on the other side of me. It's like, look. <laughs> uh, drop, drop comes along. All right, I'm ready. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. We run. All right, so you're all running. Um, and you see coming up in front of you, there's no light illuminating it, but there is a building. It's about, uh, it's a two-story high building. Um, looks like a cabin type, uh, but it's dilapidated and there are boards on the windows and it's kind of fallen into disrepair. Um, and the door you can see is just ever so slightly ajar. <laughs> I, I could deal with slightly ajar, yeah. I go diving in and, and, and as I'm going, I take my thieves tools out just in case I... I and I kind of just do a quick sweep around the, the door and I sure, sure. my way in. Uh, yeah, no, uh, there, uh, you can make a- Just jazz hands the door. Half check, oh, an investigation check if you would like. So as I get in there, I turn around and I hold the door against your mirror. It's like- <laughs> I kick the door. Hey, <laughs> the door. okay, 
it. Oh my god, you made it. Thank god. Oh, okay, everybody come in. Do you hear Bort clapping from nowhere? He likes that you broke, broke the door. <laughs> All Not right. Oh, shit. I, I did break that. the door. <laughs> did I break the door? Yeah, I would like to do, I would, I would like to do a <laughs> investigation check. Okay, yeah, go ahead and roll me an investigation check. Um, cool. I also revealed something on your guys' roll 20. I just want to double check that you guys can see that. It would be in that yes, little ma'am. newspaper icon. Um, not, not in uh, the newspaper, in the actual map. Got it, got it. Oh, in the map, on the map. In the map, in the map, in the map. Um, the map. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I <laughs> see it. Oh, okay. All right, a a uh, eighteen I, investigation for table leg. Not a bad start. Okay, so I you don't see the uh, map at all. Uh, far right, top right. Zoom out. It should be all black except for one little rectangle. Um, so you oh, got it. Got it. walk into this. Uh, it is it's like a small entryway, and there is another door uh, on the other side, um, and that door is shut. Uh, so it's it's like a little mud room of sorts, basically. There's two closets on either side of you. And uh, you check around everything for traps. You're like kind of like going along the floor. You like jiggle the door and the next door, the inside door is locked. Fuck. Um, hold the door, hold the door, hold, hold the door. I got this. Hold door? Hold yeah, I'm gonna... Game of Thrones. <laughs> Oh, no, we're starting. Uh, four days, uh, do, four days, sorry. Do you, my, uh, do you want me to do my sleight of hand for these tools? Um, uh, while he... Yes, but give me one second. So no. everyone else should be catching up at this point, kind of like filling in one by one by one. Um, there are two windows in this little uh, like uh, vestibule area as well. Uh, they have iron inlays on them and they are a little bit cracked, but like the glass is pretty thick. Um, you can manage to see through it. Uh, and once everyone gets inside, if everyone gets inside, do you shut the door? Yeah. Um, I have a, I have a quick question before I shut the door. Like, sure. do I see anything getting closer to the house? Like, so you can see shapes in, in, moving throughout the woods. Yes. Dude, but shapes are like bad. Approaching shapes the are porch. bad. Uh, not approaching the porch. No. Okay, then I'm just gonna shut the door after okay. everybody's inside, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put my back to it, and you know, like really put my my, my weight in on that, so that like sure, if yeah. anything comes bashing on it, I I'm gonna try to hold it. Bort puts so, his hand on the door while invisible and just puts his hand there, and I I just want to note that Bort weighs uh, like 460 pounds or something like that. <laughs> Bort is a heavy boy. He is a heavy boy. <laughs> All you need. That's why he's so, so smart when he runs. <laughs> I mean, he is carrying a huge shell, so there is that. Yeah. Um, Ymir is a, is a yoked 250. <laughs> nice. So when you shut the door, <laughs> um, you you are leaning against it. However, you hear like a of just this huge deadbolt. Just lock the door behind you. Ymir, was uh, that fantastic. you? Was that um, you? Uh, no. Uh, okay, I, no, it's I fine. I, I don't need details. I just wanted to know how scared I should be. That's fine. Um, <clears> and... <throat> Who, like where, where is everyone in like this little like, area? It's, it's pretty cramped. Oh, so you're all see. kind of standing over uh, the top of each other. Um, yeah. But the, the windows are... Uh, oh, let me just do that real quick. The windows are like right here and right here. Um, so uh, they are basically um, uh, facing outwards, the windows are? Yes, yeah, yeah. Not facing into the two. house. Okay, so, th so this vestibule area, there's two windows. They're facing towards the direction that we came from. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, like adjacent to the main is, door. Yes, anyone who is standing near the windows, um, you see, like, as uh, you could still hear the pounding of the footsteps when you came inside the building. That's how many there were. Um, and you look out and you see this ring, basically, surrounding the house, at least as far as you can see, of bears. Um, approximately 30 bears. <laughs> Friends, I believe we're Bears. surrounded. <laughs> um, they have uh, glowing green eyes, and they all just stop about uh, sixty feet out from the porch, and are just staring at the at the door. Um, so I'll come back to you, Drew. You wanted to make a uh, a lock picking check, so go ahead and roll me a uh, check with your thieves tools. Thank you. I'm gonna use my sleight of hand for that. And oh. What what we get? We got are you crit? Oh, crit success. So twenty eight. Yeah. So without, 
honestly, without any difficulty, you take out your thieves tools and you go and unlatch it. And, and you feel while you're doing it, like, a, that it's kind of a more complex lock than you would have thought from a door like this. Um, but it's almost as if it unlocks for you. It's oh. like a, and like a, uh uh, all right, so this lock is like spring break, but we can just kind of just do this. Let's go. Uh, and I, I crack the door and I just kind of stumble my way through. <sighs> okay. Bort so calms you... down. He was panicking, but now that you've opened a door, he's okay. You walk into this area. He didn't uh, like that. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, I, I asked Tablet since when he goes th through the door first. Huh? Yeah, um, well, I mean, I was, I was right here and I figured you were holding that one. Uh, okay, so I'm in this room here. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you used all of your weight to keep the door shut, but now we can move on. Yes. Um, I said, what the fuck just said that? Did everybody make it inside? Yes, everyone is inside. Um, and you are all standing just in this her. area. Are we still <laughs> here, by the way? Port, you and I, are we still invisible? Yeah, we're still invisible. Oh last... yeah, and he just he just out of nowhere spoke, so I'm assuming I'm. Yeah. Screwed. yeah. <laughs> I was like, What's you that? just hear a voice from the ether, friends. I believe we're surrounded by zombie bears. <laughs> just a hypothesis is all. Okay, zombie bears is fine. Uh, I've got a, at least a hallway here in front of me. Uh, yeah. So <clears> it is <throat> it is um probably about nine feet tall to the ceiling, so a little bit higher than average. Um, there are uh sconces in the wall but they're not lit mm. and um there there is a table in the middle doesn't have anything on it uh it's it's a pretty sparse room but it looks relatively well kept there's nothing really out of disarray um right here is uh an archway that leads forward into another room and then this is a doorway as well so uh we've got to the right of us the archway and the door to the left uh no, other way around. The uh, so the, to the right of you, because this is the door that you came in um, behind you. So Word. directly to your right is okay. uh, a door, Got it. and then in front of you is an archway that leads further into the house. Okay, is it dark in there? There is no light in this house. Um, there are some windows, but the it's a new moon, so there's not really that much light coming into the house. Okay, or it has candles and drops a few candles maybe like three out of his hand out of his hands and they just appear on the ground like clunk 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 um which one of you guys maybe, how maybe. many of you guys have dark vision yeah i got dark vision okay so not jabari not bort and yamir you i do not know okay so the three of you are having a really hard time seeing in here um and uh let me see jabari you especially are very uncomfortable um like you kind of feel like the the darkness is like creeping in it's like encroaching on your space and and you um you kind of don't know how to handle all of that you don't see the candles fall out either you hear something off to the side of you but you can't see so can i just can i can i perceive that they can't see can i just uh, look if you, at them if and you tell want them to make an see? insight check um you like of how well you are uh, reading the room. Oh, I mean, crit both, success. Uh, holy crap. All the crits. Hey, <laughs> hey, you guys, you guys look like you can't see. So I produce a fireball in my hand. I should be able to at least. Uh... Yeah. And, and, and you, you definitely see also that uh, Jabari looked very unsettled. You can just see me. You can just see him clutching just his staff that kind of has like a little gourd on it and some like little wood chimes and some feathers. And he's just like clutching it for dear life. It's like, oh, Oh, that's right. I forgot the most. He sees the light and he just like shimmies over to it. He's like, hello, you can, Roger. You can see now, sir. Yeah. You guys looked a little confused. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah. Is this the right house? Uh, does anybody have a map? I think so. Uh, you weren't running. given a map. You were given a general location, but you know that there aren't other buildings out here. Jabari, I mean, you, yeah, you have the did, map, right? They did uh, say the one house Jabari, in the woods. You, you have the map. This is the this is the one house we found. This is a house. I this literally gave, I, I gave you the map house. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. There were there were things chasing us, and you know I may have either put it in my back pocket or in the bushes. Depends. Can we, can we narrow that down? Can we check your back pocket first? Back pocket is a no. No. Okay. So we're out of maps. Good. Great. I think we're where we're supposed to be, though. 
Mm. All right. Um, Board comfortable with that. You weren't given much information about this house either. You just know that there was something weird going on, um, that there were strange sounds and also creatures coming out of it. Um just on occasion but enough to make the uh local town just kind of nervous about it um and there there was a family that lived here uh but you don't know where they are so there then there has been uh a disappearance reported because the family's gone like we um, don't know it, where they're at it is that is a part of the investigation finding out like what happened to them why they're not here um if they are here like you know, just like double checking, making sure that everything is kosher. All right. So okay. table like yawns, okay. a good sign, getting some some oxygen into the bloodstream. I've I've been in a dark house before. I've cased a joint before. I'm not stoked that my elf friend who could totally see in the dark just lit it up. I don't care why he did. I'm not stoked. But I start kind of casing around. Um, uh, as I walk, I, I want to kind of peer my head in through that archway. Uh, which of these doors look, or which of these exits from where we're at? look um more promising uh did, did, i, I kind of want to go in terms the... of like leading further into the house that's what i would like yeah um the the doorway direct the archway in front of you um the, which is open there's no doors in it like one the one that was off to your right when you enter the house is a door like it is closed but the uh archway in front of you you can kind of see because of your dark vision that there is a larger room down that direction um but, but like, obviously you'd have to go down there to see it. Um, so if, if that's what you were wanting, then the archway is the more promising of the two. I will Whoa. bet you five, I will bet you five gold that you won't go in there. I will bet you bet. five gold that you won't go in there. Bet. Five gold? Yeah, bet. no, no. I, yeah, okay, cool. You, Let you me on? see the money. Let me see okay, the money. Okay. No, I, I, I take out, I take out a coin purse and I, 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 I jiggle like a couple, come on, five gold, that's it. All right, give me the money. Okay, fucking cool. Do it. All right. Is there gold in that pouch? Is, is that real gold in that pouch? I'm going to drag checked. everyone out here. I know that some people don't have uh, art, but... Um, Did I send you the uh, picture of mine? Uh, no. no. <laughs> only one person sent me art. Uh, so. uh, Mo, uh, wait, wait, if, what about the bear? I sent a bear. You can yeah, do it I yourself. sent you a picture. You can do it yourself. Uh, oh, yeah, you can do it yourself. But uh, And I, I mean, I can delete these uh, also if you would like. But... Um, Okay. All right. So if you okay. went in there, I'm not going to do that right now. Well, well everybody doing that, um, and you, you kind of coordinate that. Uh, while I once I see Ymir go forward, because per usage, I just kind of step, take a couple steps back, watching out for the invisible people, and I, I start kind of just picking the door off to my right, very, very nonchalantly, not really. The door active. off to your right. Yeah, just I'm just feeling it out, kind of wanting to it's, see. It's not it. locked. You can just walk in. Uh, if if that's what you're if you were trying to see if it was locked, it's not. Right. Yeah. I just keep my hand on the door just in case. Okay. Yeah. You do it. Um, fine. You do fine. So, so since we're not, we don't know what's going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure to draw my weapon, like my trident and my shield. Okay. Um, just in case, you know. Sure. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start easing forward, you know, to this, uh, this archway over there that I can't really see anything on. Uh <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I will, uh, I will reveal some stuff to you. So here is the remainder of that hallway, and then when you walk into this room you see uh, another large table. Um, it has some, it has like a large vase on, or vase, vase, whatever, mm -hmm. on, in the center of it. And there are flowers in it, but they're, they have withered and died. Um, it looks like it used to kind of be a rather elegant, uh, like centerpiece, but it has, you know. Well, did right, exactly. And I mean, like, if that's what you're into, I personally like dead flowers, but that's that's what they look like. Um, you also have stairs uh, surrounding you on either side that go up to the second floor and they connect up at the top. Um, and then there are two doorways uh, or archways uh, to the right and left at the back of the room. And then there is also a door um, at the very back of the room as well. <sighs> I'd like to, okay. I'd like to uh, spend ten minutes while they're while they're just kind of snooping around and um, ritually cast detect magic. Okay. Trying to get a sense of if there's any magic in the house that those bears would have. Sure. Listened. So, so you um, you sit down in this in the main hallway. Is that what? Correct. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
Sure. So as you're sitting there, um, you it goes out to a, what a radius of thirty feet. Yeah, thirty feet. Um, and so you sit down, you start to cast it, whatever, and you're about halfway through the spell when you hear just right over your left shoulder. <laughs> oh, fun. And just me? Yeah, just you. Oh, what the fuck was that? Just let everybody know. Um, I need you what, 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 to what, what, what? make a concentration check. Who, me? Mm-hmm. You're in Got the middle it. of casting a ritual. So what's that, just a straight up constitution? It is a constitution saving throw. Yeah, so so yeah, so that's a three for the yeah. audience at home. Three. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sure he's okay. with with the modifier. That was a three. <laughs> Great, Wallace. So you're in the middle of casting this spell, and you know you've done this hundreds of times before. It's a pretty you know low entry spell, but for some reason you you hear that, and it it just sends a chill down your spine, and and you lose focus, and the magic fizzles from your hands, and you're like ah. Farts. Okay, uh, can we? Did he just say farts? Where did I? Where did I hear that come from? It's choice of vocabulary. It was uh, right over your left hand shoulder, like in your ear. Borg, I need your help, buddy. Buddy, come over here. We we need to we need to kill something. So Borg's Borg, big, right? Borg, Borg gets really no, close. Borg's... And then uninvisibles, so he just appears in front of you, <laughs> like inches from ah, your face. Borg, ah. right here. What's up? <laughs> Oh, if you want invisible, do I uninvisible? Uh, You're dropping yes. invisibility, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> just pop into existence, just like, oh, all right. Jesus God, all right. Hey, uh, yeah, hi. Uh, there's there's a creature Hello. here. Something's here. It just scared what? me. Can you guys can you guys help me look around for whatever made that noise? Bort looks I was in the middle of right casting here. a spell, and something laughed in my ear. What? Oh, sure. Yeah, I don't know what laughed. I didn't see it. Was it these two? I gestured towards Bort and Jabari. No. Bort not laugh. Maybe. Was it? Did you guys just laugh? No. No, not uh, Bort. Not Bort. Bort not laugh. I was contemplating which direction Your to go to because the two of you were behind you also. What the fuck was that? Okay, well, you guys got to stop interrupting me when I try to cast this spell, all right? Because I, mean, I want to see if there's any magic around here. I'm going to go ahead and fire this up again. Okay. And you guys Bort's stop scaring hard. me. Yeah, you invisible... So turtle? Yeah. All right. No, I'm, I'm invisible now. I'll give Take a good seat. perception check of the room. Just see. Like, oh. Yeah, watch my back and okay. stop scaring me. Uh, go, go ahead and roll perception back. for me. And I'm gonna. Yeah, I have a staff in my hand. Or and I are back to back, just like. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm wielding a quarter staff, and on the end of the yeah. quarter staff, there's a little ring with uh, a triangle on it, and that's my musical instrument as a bird. <laughs> <laughs> a triangle, just ding. Boy, just great musician. Ding. Oh no. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> okay. Describe your so, roles. So wow, that's ooh, okay guys. Um make sure, you, make sure you call out your roles when you're oh, yeah, seven, 17 on perception. Okay. Natural one. <laughs> Natural one. Amazing. So Jabari, you are just 22. so focused on watching uh your <laughs> friend Roger. Um like with this spell and you're and you're just kind of like oh it's so pretty there's things happening and there's light coming off of it the colors and you just kind of can't focus um roger you as you're as you're doing it um notice in the uh back left hand corner or i guess it's right from the position that you're facing um of the room right here there is just a small little orb just like floating there, just like this, like the faintest little light. Um, and the second that you stare at it, it moves and it's gone. And you hear a, a footsteps running away. Hmm. That's oh. that's a little creepy. So you finish casting Detect Magic. Um, okay. and <laughs> it's really weird. You've never experienced this with this spell before. Um, but the, the way that it normally works is you cast a spell and everything that is magical around you um, will light up. Like if, you know, your friend has a magic sword, it will glow with a sort of uh, radiance. So, you know, oh, that is magical and so on and so forth. 
when you finish casting this spell, the room gets brighter because everything around you in that 30 feet just starts glowing, just starts radiating. That's the faintest of light. Uh, what are the schools of magic I'm working with? It's, it's overwhelming. Um, <laughs> there, there's, uh, let's see, there's conjuration, um, abjuration predominantly. Um, but there, there's some other things mixed in there as well. And it's really hard to decipher exactly what's going on. It's this like the really spell's not working spells. right. All right. Well, we'll scrap that. That's a, that's a non-helpful. But, but the colors. Oh. Yep. colors. Oh. Okay. okay so um, Ymir is off in the large foyer. Uh, yeah. Tamalig, are you still holding on to the doorknob? I, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. It um, it's it opens. It goes. Oh, okay. I didn't do that. Okay. Um, I I I look. Uh, did, did it feel like it pulled on my hand? Uh, well, it, a little bit. It um, it, it not that your wrist twisted at all, but you could feel the doorknob turning underneath it. Mm. And as you were like kind of holding onto it, you're like, oh, and as it creaked open. Okay, who's in the room near me? Uh, most people are in the room. The only person who is not in the room is Ymir. Um, okay. But they're not, they're about, everyone else is about 10 to 15 feet away from you. Okay. Um. Um, I would like to return back to the, the main room with everybody else because okay. I don't feel comfortable being by myself um, at this okay. point. Um, so, and I'm going to report to everybody. It's like, yeah, it's just, there's, there's nothing over there. <laughs> Easiest five gold I've ever made, buddy. <laughs> and uh, there's just a big old table over there and like stairs, I think going up, maybe. I can't really see that well in the dark, but it, it looks like they're going up. Okay. Bortig's, um, Bortig's house is haunted. That's a good start. Um, Hi, yes, table leg, uh, new new friend of yours. Hello. Uh, the, the door is currently out of my hand and I don't really want to look at what's behind me. Could someone just kind of just peer over my shoulder so I don't have to? Sure. I bet you five gold you won't do it. Fuck. Okay, you're on. You're on. <laughs> I turn around. There's nothing there. It is. It is <laughs> just uh, the doorway into the uh, adjoining room. Uh, so All you right. guys are even now. Yeah. It's yeah. Event. I give him back his five gold. <laughs> I just turned to Bart. Their gambling is so stupid. Yep. I don't understand oh, it. It's Bort, okay. Bort really bad at gambling. Can't count good, so always... Oh, it's, it's all right. Always Bort, just all in. Bort, I will give you two gold to go check out that room ahead of me. Okay. okay oh, cool. oh, I hand, oh, I hand oh, one gold. Um. Bort, what's I wandered into the room. Sorry, what's that? What's your intelligence? Uh, six. <laughs> Great. Oh Ooh, god, yeah. I'm oh, passing you off copper, dog. You're getting copper. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, you know what gold is, because like it's pretty identifiable, identifiable, yeah. but do you know how to count? Uh no, he thinks every number above two is just two. So if he ever says I have two gold, it means he has more than one. Nailed okay. it. Two. Okay, so so he hands you this one, one gold two. and you know that it's not two gold. Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. I would know. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bort said two. Bort, Bort agreed two. You see? Pay the man, Ymir. <laughs> uh. Okay, fine. Okay, good. Bort, go, go, go. Whatever. He can oh. count. Okay, so we have so we can count Thank to two. You. That much it gets two. Fine. Go ahead, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. I go. I go now, and I'll walk into the room. He goes. Okay. Down. Is he okay? I'm, I'm not sure, man. I think I think he's been like hit in the head or something. Okay, yeah. So what do you see in there, buddy? It's very dark in here. Oh, yeah, right. he can't see. Oh, do you have a candle see. on you? <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> okay, I light I light I light a torch with my tinder box and I kind of and I, I hand it in there. Do you so do you walk into the room or are you just handing yeah, it to me? Yeah, door? absolutely, sure. Okay, yeah, so uh, the door slams shut behind you and the two of you are locked in this room. Mm. Why, why you close the door? Why did you, why did you close the door? Why did you close the door? I think you guys moved to the wrong room. Okay. Is there any way under this door? Is there like a, a small crack or exactly. anything? Do you walk up to the door to like check it out? Hey, um, Yeah, I want to uh, run an investigation on this door. Okay. It, what's, what's happening? So you walk over to the door. 
um, and you start to kind of uh, like look under, you're like, is, is there any way that I could, you know, maybe pull this out or, or, you know, get under and the floor falls out from underneath you and you fall down. Uh, to Make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, oh, all right. 18. <laughs> and 18, perfect. So, um, so you land, you land in this on the stone floor. It, you don't see it board. You don't see him. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. You're in the other room. Okay. Um, oh boy. He's on the other side of the door from you. So okay. you, Roger, you fall through the floor. Um, you don't take any damage because you you manage to like kind of whoa, whoa, whoa and you know steady yourself as you fell. Um, <laughs> the the trap door that just opened slams shut behind you. God damn it! I um, just go to where he was and just so Roger. So we're, we're all separated. Yes. So there are two now in the uh, opening hallway. There is Roger who is underneath the floor and then there are two in the room that is off to the right um the two that are in the room off to the right that would be start to myself right yes that is bort and table leg um (laughs) the two of you table leg i know i know i don't i was gonna (laughs) move on (laughs) i love that name (laughs) um table leg (laughs) so the uh i think the chandelier in the room begins to sway and it picks up and it starts swaying violently. And the curtains of the windows uh, of the room that are uh, to the right of the entrance and then directly across the room from the entrance as well. There are these tall reinforced windows that there is a little bit of light peeking through, but not much. Um, The curtains around those start to billow as well. And you start to hear... (laughs) Oh, no. Echoing nope. throughout nope. the entire room. Nope, nope, nope. Bort's starting to panic, but only because he's trapped in this room. So he's gonna run up to one of the windows and just punch the window out. Okay. <laughs> um, make an attack roll. Okay. Hey Faye, can you move Sam's token over towards me? Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you. I don't know why he was ever moved over there. Because Jabari I mean, is yeah, Jabari's just slamming on the section of the floor that ate Roger. Just if you can hear me, tap back. There we go. Just continuously slamming. I got an unnatural twenty. Okay, so you punch this window real good, um, and it cracks slightly uh, on the inside, but you can see that it's double paned, uh, uh, and they are yes. thick. And uh, it it effectively doesn't make a scratch. Um, and you hurt your hand. <laughs> I'm bored to hurt my hand. This window is very strong. <laughs> got bigger issues. There's giggling things here. <laughs> and they'll, um, table leg, they'll run up behind you and they'll like poke you a little bit on the back and then they'll run away. Oh, that's, oh, that's fucked fuck. up, man. Mm. Okay, I, I, I boogie over to Bort. I go, hey, hey, buddy, could you got room inside that thing? Oh. I, no. I don't know how it works in there. It's very... It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you want to see? And I bend down so no. I can show him kind of inside the shell and the skin just sort of connects to it like when it goes deep enough. Ah, okay. All right. I don't ever want to see that again. Don't ever show anybody that again. Okay. It, um, but there's, I put, there's a... Thing. I store meat in there sometimes. It's pretty good. I, I saw. Is there... Um, uh, it, it, okay, so I just kind of like glom onto onto uh, Bort, uh, and I go. There's something poking me, giggling. It's not cool. Um, something comes up in between the two of you and goes <gasps> right in between your ears. Bruh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he probably doesn't even like exclaim very loudly. He probably literally goes bah. Bah. <laughs> Okay. Um, he's gonna pick Cave Leg up off the ground and hold ah. him over his head. Okay. I said, oh. save you, board save you. Thanks. <laughs> okay, oh, and um, and the there there seem to be uh, actually both of you guys make me perception checks. Okay. Mm. Seventeen. Okay. Give me my table leg action here. Come on, Boyle, you can do it. I believe in you. Kind of baby cloud. Um. Ooh, yeah, he Hi, baby clown, I believe in you. <laughs> yeah. All okay, right, a 13. So with a 13 and a 17, um, you both see uh, faintly two different orbs of light 
just kind of flitting all about the room. Um, there is the table that is in the dead center of the room with chairs surrounding it, and one of them gets knocked over. There are plates <laughs> off into a cabinet, into a china cabinet, and the uh, the cabinet doors swing open, and they start pulling off the plates, and it's just like, oh, Bart, kill ghost. I'm going to throw <laughs> table leg at the ghost. What? <laughs> okay, so on uh I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to make a strength check for me real quick. Okay. <laughs> I, I almost committed to that. Just so or you know. Athletics works also. Oh no, we lost a person. Uh, Alright, oh, so um we could switch that up right now. So everybody kill video. I, I've got the order aside from Faye. Go kill video. I got a, I got a... Death. Uh yep. Mo. A nine. Video. Yep. Yep. You got a nine on that strength yeah. check. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can do it as athletics. I saw. I said that before you rolled. So if that if that makes it any higher, Bort, it's a ten. <laughs> okay. No, Bort, turn your camera back on, boyo. You're really living. You're really living. All right, followed up by uh, table leg, uh, and then um, uh, Jabari, and then Roger. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Um. So, so <laughs> you try to throw him in that direction. Um, oh, Jesus. You, however, only make it about you. You make it like a solid, like six feet that you chuck it because you're you're a strong boy. Yeah, um, that makes sense. <laughs> you're a strong boy. Okay. Table, like, can you make a, a, a just like a dex a dex, check check. dexterity check? Yes. Let's see if you can land on your feet. <laughs> That's okay, not yeah. bad. So you kind of wiggle when he throws you, which might have thrown off his chuck just like a little bit because you weren't ready for that. Flying through the air, I look at Bort like, how dare you? It's just like, (laughs) Bort, sorry, Bort, sorry. You give him him the the, why have you forsaken me look. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so I'm able to- You almost landed on a chair just like back straight onto it. But instead you managed to like, Wah! and like knock it over before you landed and you, you landed flat on your ass, but you were fine. Um, I'm going to cut real quick to Roger. Oh, you oh. are in this dark room, um, but you have dark vision, correct? Yes. Okay. So you can see um, that you're in a cobblestone room. It is a square room. It's 15 by 15. And it is entirely sealed there is there is no hole in the floor that you fell through there are no doorways around there are however cracks in the wall there are many cracks in the wall and you uh you start to hear this like of thousands and thousands of little legs starting to crawl out of these cracks as thousands of spiders just begin to emerge from all of these cracks. And they start to fill up the room. Ah. Are they being friendly? Uh, they, they're they not attacking you. They are, however, starting to crawl up you. And and it's, it is a bit unsettling because you, you feel not just like one little spider that like you know if you were since you're a druid i'm i'm sure that you've been like oh i can pick okay up okay with it it's, it's just kind of like juggling spiders they're just little buddies right however yeah. it's not just one or two they are everywhere and they are they are starting to crawl up your body just going and it's just like thousands of little feet just like all up on you some of them try to go in your ears you have to like swat them away because you don't want them to climb in there um or do i I mean, I mean, I don't know. Maybe depends on maybe what they're do. doing. Like, I don't know. I don't know what you're into, right. man. I ain't up here to yuck your yum, but uh, I, I am mostly naked right now, so that's true. Essentially, so these can... these are my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is pretty a, much climb anyway. It's a turtle leg of me. Spiders. You've just gained a spider coat. Is that what happened? Yeah. Is this boost my AC in any way? Because I'm, I'm okay should. with this. <laughs> if I'm, because this is okay. Sure. I yeah. try. I, I mean. I just want to know, did you guys, hello, hello, and just see if anybody can hear me. Can anybody hear me? Do I hear anybody besides these spiders? Um, you can go ahead and make a perception check if you want. All right. Uh, while you're doing that, Jabari and Ymir, what are you two doing? 
Uh, I'm trying to pry this freaking hatch open. On beat up Roger. It is seamless. There is there is not a hatch. It is not a trap door. It's it is completely sealed. And as soon as as soon as I see everybody disappear, I'm going to back up against the wall and fucking keep my shield up because I'm not trying to die. Okay. Uh, Ymir, are we going to do something at all? Uh, I am doing something. What are you doing? Hopefully rescuing them, but now I'm starting to reconsider. Um, <laughs> is there a crack underneath the door that um, that board and a uh, table leg are in? Uh, it is. It is pretty much flush with the floor. Um, however, if you want to do what I think you want to do, super tiny, uh, you can make, I will say you can make an acrobatics check okay. to see if you can squeeze through, if that is what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, so you see, um, you just, uh, Amir, you just see, I, I, I have to help them. Oh, and he just runs over to the door and you can see his body just he starts to bend over. And as he does, he starts to grow more appendages and out of his body. And it's a little freaky, but then he shrinks down to a small enough size that you can't even see him anymore as it turned into a little spider. OK, so and yeah, so off. go ahead and make a, an acrobatic check for me. Acrobatic. If I see the spider, I immediately freak out. Oh. Yeah. You are all alone in this room uh, and you see this spider which you are not a fan of um yeah. and actually i'm gonna have you can you make a uh, wisdom saving throw for me yes i can um that's an uh, 11 i think just plus one yeah okay um so you uh, you kind of steal yourself a little bit and though your skin crawls and you're like ah uh, and you kind of feel like there's spiders on you like you know how when you see a spider in a room and yeah, then and you just kind of like feel track like of it and you're like oh they're god like, they're everywhere yeah. <laughs> um you kind of feel like that but aside from that you you kind of like you're like no no i can do this i, I have my shield i'm fine um so what was uh oh uh natural 20 on that acrobatics check so Spider parkour. <laughs> it's 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 weird <laughs> under there it, because there's there's some kind of like almost like this like field that is like rippling as you go under, but you manage to dodge those ripples as they come at you. You like you like you know maneuver like here and kind of scroll under there, or whatever, and you get through the door. So you are now locked inside this room with the two of them and um the two ah! of you could hear also uh like, a ruckus going on in there <laughs> i think it's like cock's ass <laughs> um, just... there's there's glass breaking and like fabric rippling and chairs being pushed all over the place the chandelier is creaking above you just going like <laughs> just like it is it is chaos in that room uh, i'm crawling underneath the table Board is just making like a steady like noise. He's just kind of going, uh, 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 but I'm not going to do that to you know. To sure. You. <laughs> I, 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 I say aloud. I really hope there are no spiders underneath here. I can only handle so much. Um, and you do uh, table leg as you as you go underneath the table with the other table leg. Uh, <laughs> with the other table legs. <laughs> <laughs> You, um, there is a, uh, the face of a young boy just appears directly in front of you and goes, boo, and then just, ow, ow, <laughs> ah, ow, out the other way, out the other way. <laughs> okay. And then Kids. another, and then another young boy just pops out, just like morphs from a spider just up in your face. What is <gasps> going on? Ah! Um, <laughs> ah, uh, uh, hello, hello, Jabari. <laughs> The table's not much better. He throws people, by the way. Hey, where's Ymir? Um, I left him. You did what? The- no, I, I understand. I keep crawling. <laughs> um, okay, so back to How Roger. How did you get in here, Jabari? Um, uh, I turned into a very small spider, and I crawled through the door. There seems to be some fields that are kind of interfering with this whole place. You know, it's a little weird. As I as I take out as I take out my rapier, and I start fighting against. Uh, plates are flying through the air, porcelain and china. Just like, ah, yeah. No, there's a lot of stuff going on here, too. So we all have our own problems. Ah. Got it. And I'll Uh, pull out my shield. That's literally just a 
like a piece of like tree bark. <laughs> um, DM. Did you, you get? Did you get that yes. on your way in? Uh, no, it's mine. Um, since uh, since everybody left me in this room and mm-hmm. I saw a tiny spider and I don't really like being alone either. Um, mm-hmm. Can I try to like kick down this door? Uh, the. The, the, the one, one where intro? where Drew is, yeah, where where Table again and them are. Uh, sure, you can try to. Um, go ahead and make me uh a a straight strength roll. Yes, ma'am. That was an eleven again plus four, six, uh, fifteen. Okay, so um, you kick the door and your knee gets shot back and you're like oh holy crap there the thing about it is that it's not like a um it's not like a reinforced door you've kicked in many doors you should be able to kick through this door um and you think that you think that if you either had like i don't know more something more behind it that you could have possibly broken through it because you felt a little bit of resistance there Mm -hmm. before it kicked you back but you just it just wasn't enough Um, I'm going to go down real quick to Roger, who is in this room. Roger, you hear chaos above you, but no one is responding to you. So you're in this room and it is, it is filling with spiders and like, it is getting to the point where no, you're not uncomfortable with spiders because you know, you're a Drew, you can turn into them, whatever. However, there is a point where you can suffocate on spiders. And the room is filling. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Can I climb those those cracks? Uh, sure. You can try. Um, there... Or is there any? Ugh. If if you would like to just kind of take a look around, you can make a perception check for me. You could just eat your way out. Oh, I I rolled a perception check. Um, oh, you wanted okay. to... Sorry, right. I got a twenty-one. You totally did. That's on me. So on top of hearing the voices above you and there's like some kind of like glass breaking. You don't really know what's going on. Um, you do see in one of the walls, there is like this uh, recess and it's just kind of like a dark hole. Uh, and there are spiders crawling out of it, but it, it looks more formed than the rest of them. The rest of them are just like little cracks. This is very specifically something that is deliberately put into the wall. Let's go ahead and reach in. I mean, if there's spiders okay. in there, they're clearly not going to eat my hand. Um, so, actually, uh, maybe it might. <laughs> the rest, of, the rest of these spiders have been non-threatening in a in a physical way, but the second that you start to put your hand towards these other spiders, um, they they kind of lash out at you. Um, what is your AC? Sixteen. Okay, so um, you manage to pull your hand back in time. Um, but uh but there there was something about it that um can you make a wisdom save for me real quick sure your hand went back in time <laughs> oh there it goes <laughs> okay so um so you you were like wait did i did i imagine that those spiders attacked me you're and you kind of shake your head a little bit and you're like they didn't la- they didn't did they no and you can go ahead and, if you want, you can go ahead and try and reach your hand in again. Sure, and why not? The spiders do not lash out at you this time. Um, and you and you feel, after kind of shaking a couple of them off, um, this this latch that is through the... And your, your arm, you are elbow deep in this hole in the wall. So you are like pressed up against it. And the spiders are slowly starting to fill. They're up to like basically like your abdomen at this point in this room. So you're like, it's hard to walk through here. You're like waiting through these spiders um well i'm committed now let's let's see what this latch has got okay um it does seem a little bit jammed can you go ahead and make an athletics check for me it it seems like uh kind of like it's like rusted a bit in place oh nine okay so you you try and you try and pull it and you're like "Ah, it's, it's not working i can't i can't get it there's there's something that's resisting me oh boy you can, if there's anything that you can cast or however you want to handle that, you can do that. Or you can try to roll an athletics check again, but it will be at disadvantage. Ah, you know, I don't really have any any good magic for this. Let's see, could I do? 
It's just jammed. Okay, well, let's try it again. I guess I, I really don't have much of a choice here. Okay. Um, how how uh, how good is your knowledge of of mechanisms and things? Like, how what is your intelligence score? Uh, my intelligence is a twelve, so I have a one modifier. Okay. Um, and let me just pull up your character sheet. I, I have an insight profession, so I might be able to figure out. Okay. Um, so you um you do know that when things uh, it, it made it made a little bit of like a uh, noise when you tried to pull it, and you know that um, sometimes mechanisms need to be lubricated in some fashion. Ah, I believe in miracles. Okay, let's go ahead and. Uh, Where are you from? You know, might as well uh, crush some berries up. Sure, just some magic berries. Uh, I just conjure ten berries, crush them, and try and rub them around as much of the mechanical parts as possible. Okay, um, go I'll ahead and uh, go ahead and make me a, another athletics check. It's not a disadvantage. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Damn, bro. What I will he? say I have... that because because it has been lubricated, and also you've kind of killed a couple of spiders in there, and their blood's kind of, you know, all up in there. Um, Spider lube, ew. You do start to feel it give. Um, make one more check for me, but before you do that, I need you to make a con save oh, because there are spiders crawling shit. up in your shit. <laughs> Kitty. Yes, my kid. She's my seven. Son. Seven on the Constitution. Um, okay. So I have a spider in my anus now. And <laughs> um, while you while you had the one hand uh, in the wall, and you were kind of making sure to swat away spiders from one ear, you don't manage to swat away the spider that crawls into your inner ear, and it's like, oh, it feels awful. It is. Uh, I hate awful. this thing now. And you can hear. You can hear like the like the tittering of like the. Uh, it's just like yeah, really like intimate in your ear <laughs> um but <sighs> you do manage with that last athletics check to uh, yank it free and um there a door off to your left that you didn't see before um basically that was entirely made of cobblestone just swings open um and the spiders start to dissipate not some of them seem to weirdly uh god damn it i just read that chat you guys are the worst <laughs> <I apologize>. uh, <laughs> i don't know some of them kind of turn into uh a like a mist that just kind of goes away from you including the one in your ear it, it feels a little bit wet um like there's like a dampness there uh, uh, like gross. like you had like you had swimmer's ear and you finally got that water out that was in your from the pool <laughs> um and so like but it, but it's gone and the spiders all start to go back up into the cracks and the door is open before you it's on the uh, other side it's out there there is a staircase leading up um but before we get to you i'm gonna cut back um ymir you you tried kicking down the door yes ma'am so, uh, so friends inside, which would be Bort and Jabari and Table Lake, you heard a poof from the door nearby. Um, uh, can I can I do a, um, a, a perception roll because I I know Ymir. I've I've seen him kick down a few doors in my day. Sure. Uh, what are you What are you trying to figure out? I want to know if you just tried to kick that door down and didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make a perception check for it. But um, I will say at a disadvantage because there are plates, spooky, scary things all the time. Shit flying around. All right. So, yeah, craw crawling through uh, um, China and broken plates as an 18 and a 14. Uh, okay. Physical... Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so you know that your friend Ymir, who's like the only one that's there, there are two people that aren't in here, but you know, you know, Roger and breaking down doors like that way isn't really his style. Um, yeah. I, I keep crawling for the door, uh, hearing this bump, uh, this this thump of the uh, of the door. I go, ha, ha! oh, you're losing it. <laughs> I just keep crawling for the door. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, at this point, my plan was to use my breath weapon on this door to try to break break it open. Okay. So, so now that old boy is taunting me, 
Not, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to so, use my breath weapon on the door. Go ahead and make an attack roll for me. Um, At this, ma'am. I want to just this is stupid but I want to do it at the same time he's doing that I walk up to the door on the inside and on our side and I go <laughs> Bort needs to get out and he casts knock and knocks onto the door so for 10 minutes this door opens naturally <laughs> I'm just I'm just crawling and I, I, I stood up to um, like, to make that to, to do that spell though because you yeah. are uh, because it, it is it is your phobia to be trapped yes I yeah. do need you to make uh, what's, what's your spell casting what do you spell cast with uh, I believe is that it is charisma. That's correct. Yes. Go ahead and make a charisma save for me. Sure thing. Or just a not a save, just a check. Hmm. So charismatic for it. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Okay. So you you kind of um you start to feel the fear creeping up in you, and you're like. Uh, uh, and you kind of start to almost retract into your shell and then you're like wait wait no 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 I can fix this I can fix this and you go up to the door and you just knock real hard on it and it swings open as <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> so um so go ahead and make an attack roll that's a, that's so a lightning. The, the breath the, the breath weapon works as a as a deck save for them I don't I don't have to attack to okay, roll okay. Or attack what um <laughs> what, what color dragonborn are you I'm blue, so it's it's They're just a, a okay. light so a line of lightning. lightning. Sure. Yeah. Um so <laughs> for uh Bond free. Ah. <laughs> go ahead and make a deck save. I'm um, also like like face first towards oh the Oh yeah, would I have to make one as well? I'm kinda close to for it. Um is it a cone or is it a line? It's, I get it's a, a ten. Line. It's a line. So are you I I don't think that you are in line with a... Uh, because you would be here, for Bro, you just missed the con save by one. Yeah, it's a, it's a 10. Oh, it's actually, a 10. no, it's, uh, it's uh, 8 plus my constitution plus my proficiency, so the con is uh, 13. Is, uh, okay, is I got a 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um... You did this to yourself. You did no, that to I yourself. Oh, that. No, I mean, it totally makes sense. It, it totally makes sense. Um, so... I see, Bort, I see this... <laughs> you're so excited you got that door open yay you feel this like this rush of energy go through you and like kind of like tingles like through your arms and out your fingertips um Ymir go ahead and roll damage uh Both some of free. it <laughs> the, the door when you because you were still Dude. in the middle of opening it but it definitely also still hit you <laughs> yeah I deck he saved my way so I take half oh were you in line behind him yeah, I was crawling okay. towards the door. Okay, so I I did ten damage. Sweet. <laughs> okay, so um, I will say, Bort, you you only take uh six damage because some of the door absorbs it, and you see the door kind of crack a little bit, like especially because it has opened now. Um, you are a kind and merciful DM. I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's realistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. I agree. <laughs> Realism. So, um, and then table leg behind because you you failed that con save, didn't you? Or deck save? Or did you make it? I made it. Made it. Okay. Cool. Then uh, you you there's lightning that flashes over the top of your head and you just kind of duck a little bit because you're used to Ymir. You guys have been traveling together for a long time. <laughs> because you can't kick down a door. That's why. Because you can't kick down a door. I. Also, hey, everyone's look, cameras look, got look, man, I was, messed I was up again. Just so as a like, side note. No. Uh, kill, the kill, the kill the video! Kill the video! Kill the video! Yeah, yes. like, oh, that's that's definitely coming again. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, Mo, Ymir, boom up. So yeah, uh, so you were in this room, and uh, the the noise that was in the room that had kind of been like just echoing all around stops. Alex, and you see, um, you see two small children, which I didn't make tokens for them, and I should have. Uh, <laughs> I'll People draw you some. See. They'll be beautiful to watch. People at home can't see Faye. Oh, that's fine. But but it's it's more for you guys anyway. Um, I'll just drag where they are out onto here so you know. Um, they appear right here on the other side of the room. And they they say out to you, Oh, you guys are no fun. Yep. So what the fuck? Yeah, no, we've got problems over here. I keep calling. 
Uh, I, I check out. I check out Timber. Like, oh. Roger, check out turn your camera on. You, you, you good, buddy? You good? I, don't, I know you don't like kids. Kids, kids, kids. Not kids. Fucking help me out, dude. Just help me out. I pick him up and, and I, I put him behind me and I like clean off his his hair. Like, <laughs> like all right, I dust off his hair and like his shoulders. And I was like, all right, man, just just get behind me. Okay. You want me? To fight? Okay. I get, I get behind behind him, as, as always. And I, I look over my shoulder and it's like, I swear to God, if you touch my coin purse again, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, jokes for later. <laughs> um, so yeah, so there, there are these two children in the room. Um, one is a, uh, they are both small, dressed in like, um, in rather nice clothing. Uh, oh, Victoria era children, they're the worst. Yes. Yes, they are Victorian era children. Uh, oh, children. oh no! One of them uh, and... appears to be around seven years old, and the other one appears to be around ten years old. Um, and they are, ages. They, they are both uh, little blonde boys, um, <gasps> just kind of staring at you guys. Um, and the younger of the two just says, "Oh, we just wanted to have a little bit of fun." Very scary. Very scary. Keep moving, Bort. <laughs> No, we're cool. Hold we're on. Cool. Hold on. Hold on. Um, well, my, my friend Bort over here plays music. Do you want to listen to some music? What? Oh, a great musician. Music? That, whoa. Um, and and that, that's the seven-year-old. He gets really excited when you say that. And the 10-year-old kind of walks over to him and puts his arm around him and is like, yeah, that, that would be, um, that would be nice. But uh, what are you guys doing here? Um, we were just asked to come check out if everything was okay over here. Um, and then like in the, in the forest and there was, some, there was some stuff out in the forest that started chasing us. So we found this house and we came in to try to seek refuge. Oh, so we, we, we didn't know there was anybody in here. We apologize. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Bor thought we were here to investigate um, house. Ymir, make me an insight check. <laughs> oh god that's but board's stupid uh, some point don't know <laughs> you said inside check that's the six <laughs> um, Total. okay yeah so you you just kind of see this this kid in front of you who's like rather indignant and they are um trans translucent they are they're they're not entirely opaque like you can see the wall through them uh, they have solidified more uh, okay. But they're they're not entirely there, so you can tell that like it wasn't just um, like how your friends were invisible earlier. It's not the same mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Um, talking to them. Stop talking to them. Stop talking to them. Stop talking to them. Stop talking. To come them. down. Shut up. Come down. You're getting corporeal. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, I say yeah. We're, uh, can can you play the the children a little song? They they just want to have some fun. Uh, boy, play a song. Um. Call this one two tings, and he he jingles <laughs> and what, like maybe four or five times because he because he can't <laughs> Bored, great musician. Thank you. Performance over. The seven year old loves it. He's just like, <laughs> that's so great. Oh, and he like claps music for seven year olds. That's that's Bored's tyrant get demographic. <laughs> <laughs> the ten-year-old looks a little. Uh, he, he's underwhelmed. <laughs> he was like, "Okay." <laughs> um. And uh. And the the ten-year-old kind of looks down to. They look like brothers. Um, okay. It's it's fairly easy to see that they have very very similar features. They're dressed almost identically. If they were the same height and the other one had looked older, they could be twins. Um. And uh, the other one, the older one kind of turns to the younger one and goes, hey, uh, Georgie, go, go hang out with, um, with Timothy. Okay. Uh, I, I don't want you here. And George goes, oh, and kind of kicks his foot on the floor and he dissipates and you, you see like a little orb just kind of float away. Oh, I panic a little bit. I don't like orbs. I'm like, oh shit. Oh yeah, now you get it. <laughs> um, I say, uh, what's 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 your name? Stop it. My name? Oh, um, 
I'm Jonathan. Hi. Hi, Hello. I'm Jonathan. Uh, my name's Ymir. Um, Hi, mister. Oh, you, you, you can just call me sir. It's fine. Um, okay, mister, sir. <laughs> um, what's going on? Uh, why did you, uh, why did you send your little brother away? Well, I gotta protect him. Protect him from I don't who? know what you guys are gonna do. Oh, like, like I said, we just, we just had something, something chasing us outside and we just ended up here. Um, we didn't know there was going to be anybody in here. The house seemed, uh, seemed abandoned from the outside. I need you to make me a deception check because that is not why you are here. Uh, okay. That is a, uh, where's my deception? That's, uh, 12, uh, no, 13. Okay. So he looks at you. I look at him. I know. And he's, he kind of squints his eyes and, and puts his arms up and he's like, that, why are you really here? Okay. Within reach okay. of me. Is the what? The door within reach of me. Uh, let's see. So are you standing directly behind? behind? Yeah. So, okay. So like, like in space. like here ish. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, the door is pretty much directly behind you. Okay, yeah, I kind of just lean forward and go, Ymir, we're cool. These we, we can make new friends. And I just shut the door. <laughs> okay, so you back out and you go into this hallway. Great, okay. <laughs> I just shut the door. It's okay. All okay. right, so dude, look, I know. They're going to get murdered by ghosts. We never tell anybody. It's a blood pact. I, I take my dagger out and I cut my, I cut my, I begin cutting my hand. We've done these before. <laughs> Ymir, do you I go with him? Hand. I hold his hand. I'm like, stop, stop, stop. We've done this too many times and it never goes well. Just just relax. We can do this. Okay. Just calm down. Just okay. calm down. Okay. Okay. I don't like those fucking kids. All right. All right. All right. Just just, just calm down. Sit behind me. Sit behind me. We're cool. We're cool. Um Ymir, you noticed also when uh when and, and anyone kind of in the room like who was watching the kid at the time, um, when when you when you lied to him and he like kind of took a step back, um, his he grew more see-through like it, it was like he was less manifested there okay um all right i said all right all right all right, all right. I, i'm sorry i'm sorry i lied um that wasn't completely true we were being chased and we were looking for this house particularly why um some people in the town nearby said there was some stuff going on around the house we just wanted to check it out make sure everything was okay Wait. Or just part-time contractor. So, so you're here to help us? Yeah, yeah. As you and, and whoever on. whoever else is here. Oh, okay. Um. Well, uh, let me just tell you. And he starts to go, and then he fades out entirely. Oh, come back, little boy! No, we wanted to keep talking with you. Did we? Um. So I'm gonna cut to Roger. Uh, who has been by himself. <laughs> so, okay, I like uh, spiders. It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's nice. Um, you, uh, the, the part of the cobblestone wall that opened up, you walked through it, and then as soon as you were, like, past, like, the threshold, the door shut behind you and sealed, and it, it just looks like a dead end. There's, there's no way to get in there. There's no handle, nothing. It just looks like a concrete wall. Um, oh, all right. oh, and sweet. there is a there's a rather steep like rickety staircase in front of you leading up to a trap door do I see the structural integrity of this thing because I don't want to start yeah I don't want to start walking up these things and have them just fall out from under uh, me okay um let me think make make an investigation check uh, that's not a good one Oh fuck! I got a four. Um, hey, it's a great, perfect stairs. You're not sure about these stairs, man. You you're like, oh, I don't know. They're kind of creaky. I'm like, but <laughs> but you're an elf. You're pretty light. You know, they could be fine. Can I just grab them and shake them and see what happens? Yeah. Um. Part of a board comes loose, but the stairs don't fall down. <laughs> That's not a good sign. All right. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and run up these stairs. Okay. Um, you book it up the stairs and uh, try and open the trapdoor, 
um, and you bonk your head a little bit because it doesn't open immediately because like it, it, it gives a little bit but you can tell there's something on top of it um, that like you couldn't just push it open in one go um, but the stairs are fine you don't fall through them they they do shift a little bit underneath you and you hear kind of like a rrr, rrr. Um, but uh, but with a little bit of like more intention behind opening the trap door you're able to move it off because you, you feel like some bags kind of go and slump over to the side um bags yeah they're, it, it's just like bags of um like grain ah, just, okay. just like a little storage room basically oh okay um, well i guess i'll have a snack then <laughs> sure you can ah. uh and uh you actually are um you pop up let me just make sure i'm doing this right in this little area right here um Oh boy. So, and I'll just light that up a little bit. So uh, that's that's where you appear. Is just this tiny little room. Um, it, it seems like a storage closet. There's really nothing impressive in there. It's just kind of um, some some food storage, some dry food storage, and uh, that's basically it. Okay. So uh, let's. That there's nothing else there. There's no. Little trinkets or surprises that that I can investigate. I mean, you can roll an investigation check if you want. And I, fucking seven. Yeah, no, I, I'm just. Um. So you're kind of like, nah. There's, you kind of kick a bag and some oats fall out, and you're like, whatever. <laughs> Who cares about this stuff? Um, Roger, you need to kill your camera. Um. Oh, farts. <laughs> uh. <laughs> But um, but yeah, you don't you don't really find anything. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and uh, and head out of this room. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, how many ways out? Just one. Just the door. Just the one door. Um, cool. that is uh, this guy right here. And uh, you, when you come out, you see you you didn't walk in here before, um, so you're kind of a little disoriented. But you do see a large uh, foyer with a table in the middle, uh, centerpiece on that table and a large vase um staircases going up either side uh but you don't hear any it's it's a kind of eerily quiet um there is also a hallway down to the right of the door um but uh it's even scarier than before <laughs> but yeah that's what that's what's in front of you is the, okay do the, i hear it um, do i hear anybody else you you don't hear anything, but you you recognize the patterns of that archway that you you know kind of summarize that you're like that's probably where everyone was yeah over there, um, but you don't hear anything and and you do remember also that your friends were trapped in a room last time when you dropped through the floor. <laughs> yep yep this yeah this this probably rings true. Um, this is probably the room they were in. Can I walk up to that vase and pick it up? sure um it's it's rather sturdy um it, it's it's made of like a thick ceramic um so it's probably a good like 25 pounds to pick it up it's a um, bludgeoning mate uh bludgeoning vase <laughs> yeah as you do i mean you know sometimes <laughs> you that kind of thing in uh in your life you know for emergencies um and like the you hear the rustling of the leaves just a little bit when you pick it up, but there's no, there's no water in it. There's no like, uh, sloshing. Okay. So there's nothing but the flowers in this thing. I'm take the flowers out, Just turn it upside okay, down. Okay. Roger, turn your camera on. Um, sure. but yeah, you can go ahead and take turn them out. They're dried. Down. Okay. Shake it out. Nothing. Cool. Um, a actually, uh, a small copper coin falls out. Wow. Look at that. All right. Hey. I'll buy something fancy. All right. Um, let's go ahead and head towards the archway. Is that door open? It, it's not a door. It's just a open. Oh, uh, it's just an archway. Yep. Okay. Cool. It, yep. it's, let's, it's let's go like, ahead. Got, like crown molding and like fancy like uh, wooden like filigree, basically along it. it. It's a very nice doorway. It's very ornate, um, but it's just open into mm -hmm. the next room. Okay. Yeah. Let's just go back to that next room. Can I tell? If I've been in this room before. Yeah, yes. It, it looks like the room that you were in when you fell. And you see that the door that you had run to also is now ajar. 
Oh, oh, well, that's new. Um, let's go ahead and follow that because I just got in a trap last time. Let's go ahead and jump over the place that I fell sure. through the floor. Sure, that makes sense. I want to learn my lesson on this one. Yeah, and I mean, like, you you can do that easily. I'm not going to make you roll for that. Um, it's like creep across the side or around that spot or something. Just um, So, yeah, so you creep into the room right as uh, the children are at, like, the Jonathan has disappeared. So that timeline-wise, that's where everyone ends up. So Roger, oh, nice. the child disappears, and Roger enters the room uh, behind you. And, and uh, hey, yeah. guys. <laughs> Kill him! Fuck! Hello. Girl, hey. He's alive! You yes, missed Vaught's performance. Oh, I just made a few okay. new friends Hello. downstairs, and then they all evaporated. And Hello. again, I'm alone. Kids? And you kind of <laughs> you kind of shake out like your like loincloth, and a couple of spiders fall out. What? Kind of kind of pick my ear and just nose, and yeah, mm. I had an enjoyable time down there. Mm. You're dripping What's with spiders. With you? Yeah. Jabari, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't really see how that that could be enjoyable, man. Okay, all right. Uh, so do, do we know what's happening. It's ghosts. We're okay with that. We, we can we can report back that everybody's dead here and nobody will ever live here again. That's. Well, I mean, they seem to be some sort of apparition, some kind of spirits. Not really the ones that I work with necessarily, but yes, yeah, spirits indeed. Um, you guys saw ghosts? Yes, children. Right. There's one oh, named that's... Timothy, one named Jonathan, and one Gorgie. I Georgie. don't remember names. Yes, Georgie. Georgie. Georgie, that's the name. That's um, not enough for you guys. We could just leave. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know what we should do at this point. I mean, I feel okay. bad. This is kind of where they. Who had the letter? What were we supposed to do? It um, it, it is just a contract that it that's fairly plain language of just like go investigate this thing you got hired from the people in the town um you Sounds weren't like there for this roger time. but but the the child did say to anyone else that was in the room you're here to help us oh, okay but here's what's happening and, and before he disappeared so there's there's something going on uh, because the children didn't have, like attack you directly either so huh, i have a quick awesome. question yeah go ahead did he look like he was willing to leave, or did he look like he was pulled? It looks like he was. Well, he was mid-sentence and just faded out. Okay. Okay. Bort looks uh, around. Uh, does he see any little spider like on the ground or anything like that? Uh, there are a couple, yeah, skittering away of like varying sizes. Okay. He casts animal friendship on one of the spiders. <laughs> Let me get you the stats for that spell. Animal friend. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Has some spider buddies. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Animal friendship. There you go. That's the stats for it. So um, I convinced the, the spider that I mean it no harm. So I pick it up in my hand and I go, oh. Did you did you spider. drop it in? Oh, I uh, put it in Twitch. Oh, you in, <laughs> in Twitch? Okay. okay. No, that's fine. I can see Twitch, it. That's fine. So there you go, that? people. That's, 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 that's the spell from, from the thing. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I, I like hold the spider up in my hand and I say, hello, little spider. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Let me just... um. Okay. Let me just check the intelligence of spiders real quick. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Negative 14. Hey, in the meantime, uh, Roger. It's like uh, a one. <laughs> okay, no, it, 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 it is a one. Um, <laughs> but, but like, the spider it doesn't seem to, har like, want to harm you. It's just kind of, mm -hmm. like, panic crawling uh, <laughs> around you, like, around your hand, okay. just trying to be like, why am I not on the floor right now? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna cast a speak with animals. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. I could do that. No way. You can. You can burn through your spells. Just, <laughs> just with spider. the spider. <laughs> I'm burning through all of them. I mean, Jabari, you speak to spiders too. Well, awesome. if if I look up my ability, I just know I can speak to. Beasts. <laughs> yep, okay. I can decipher their noises and motions. Yes, I can. Okay, the noises and motions of the spider are, <laughs> and uh, just be basically in like a panic of like, okay, am I gonna have to bite this hand? Maybe I can just crawl up here and like starts to like crawl up the arm. Like it, it's just very like focused on like, am I gonna die right now? <laughs> um, 
So does one of you cast speak with animals or are you not doing that anymore? Oh, he looks anxious okay. if you ask me. <laughs> hello, little spider. To... I, I, hello. I, could... I think I could... there's better ways for us to gather intel than talking with bugs. You have what your method. You... Spider wants to, wants to well, say hello. Well, I tried to talk to the kid, but you were freaking out behind me. and then the oh, We don't need to talk to anybody here. So is there three of us huddling around a spider just spider trying ass. to talk to her? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're like having this little like, quarrel, like this little lover's quarrel off at the corner. And then the three of you are just like very intently staring at the spider. You guys have all put your hands out. It's just like kind of circling. <laughs> yes, come to me. And uh, and you cast a spell and the spider is like, <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, little spider. How how have you been today? I'm, 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 I'm scared. What scares you, Spider? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, you picked me, me up. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Do I need to bite you? Um, don't bite me, don't bite me. <laughs> it's like two idiots talking. And, and it kind of, it kind of like, it kind of like settles in on your hand and like stops frantically running. Hmm. And it just kind of sits there. That's better. Now, tell me. Who, what, what is, why is this house weird? What have you seen, Spider? <laughs> Force him. <laughs> Force really I was asking, um, uh, let me just. Good Spider. Good Spider. Okay. Uh, <laughs> new, big, big thing, like, that and kind of turns to face um jabari uh new big thing like like him came in here and 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 hurt other things like that and point and like kind of positions itself back at jabari again okay spider i understand i'll put you down now thank you Okay, so Ymir, protocol alpha, right? We just rob the place and we go, right? That's 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 our standard operating. We're on the same page, right? No, man, we're not gonna rob the place. There's dead people here. Shh. <clears throat> How are you guys doing over there? It's not really robbing; it's looting at that point. Uh, I think it's going well. <laughs> um, the spider crawls up on Jabari. Just kind of starts in, in, inspecting everything. Just kind of like walking around me. All right, you do that. Don't don't take anything. Um, okay. Uh, I will call him Jeffrey. I, okay. I run. To, I run towards the front door and I start pulling on it. Doesn't open. Fuck! Ah. Okay. If we were like maybe a little faster, it might have still been open. But I think probably knock wore off at this point. <laughs> oh no! The 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 door. The door to this room Remember, is it open. Automatically okay, when okay. We came in. The, the front door, I, which ah, I uh, thought that gotcha. that's what you were pulling on. Was that not? Okay. Okay. All right. I get this. I understand. It, it's not out the way we came because zombie 30 bears. Got it. Right? Yeah. And they're, they're still like, if you look out the windows, they're still all there. They have not moved. They're Are just, they out there? Yep. They're standing in exactly the same position that they were when you guys I should have in. asked spiders about bears. Not time. We gotta go deep. Think Listen, okay, we gotta go deep. We gotta go, deep. we gotta go deeper. We've spent the first. You ask the bears. <laughs> we have spent the first two hours, <laughs> hour and a half Shout in the house. house. <laughs> We've spent the first table. hour and a half in these rooms, and I am not thinking we're doing any better by staying here. We're not going to talk to some uh, thing. And we just need to solve this on our own. We can go through the house. We can find another door or another window and sneak our way out. It's that easy. You always gotta have an exit strategy. Mm -hmm. Just talk to, him. yeah, okay. Everybody's good. I agree. Hey, or we have can you guys, the children and spirits. Awesome. Have you guys checked the hallway over there by the, uh, what is that, the storage area? Did you guys check that yet? No. Nope. I don't think we've looked around this whole place. Okay. You should there are, there are two different more. hallways off of that foyer and also stairs to go upstairs. So cool. there's, yeah. Okay, yeah, I want to find out what's going on with these bears because I think some of those guys are my friends. <laughs> so, hey, like, college buddies. I drink on the upstairs. weekend. I don't know what's going on. Those guys, my guys. We played we gotta, bear pong we once. Help them out. 
So let, let's go. Let's go explore this house a bit more. Okay. Quick question. Uh, sure. Yeah. So did uh, when when they were talking to the spider, mm -hmm. uh, did they relay that information to us? Like he said, like the things that looked like this guy came in here and killed everybody in here. I don't know, Bort. You were the only one that heard that. Did you tell anyone? Well, everybody was busy doing stuff, so Bort just kind of stayed silent for a while. <laughs> no, no, you have no idea. Okay. Um, but did I see Bork talking to the spider? You saw the three of them, like, as you were talking to Table League, you saw the three of them huddled around this spider, and it was you just kind of running. You were looking past me, trying to get your face, like, yeah. why aren't you paying attention like, to me? Look at me in the eyes. Well, <laughs> and, like, and it was a little bit distracting for you also, because spiders are kind of like a uh, heebie-jeebie mm. thing. So, so you were kind of like... At this point, me gotcha. very visibly using Table League to protect myself, okay. like, behind Table League, because I'm afraid of spiders. I'm like, okay, so, um, why are we all, um, huddling behind this creature? Um... Are we gonna kill it? I don't. I don't. I don't like spiders. We need to just go. We need to go. We do. We need to go. We don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time. We need to I'll go. Look for it. Um, hi, Bort. Uh, did it you is? learn anything from Mr. Spider? Uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, are you still here? Bort, I'll, I'll try and find him in Bort my hair. Learned, Bort learned that. Oh, his name is Jeffrey. I just not. I I like the name Jeffrey. I forgot to ask. Uh, Bort asked the Spider, and he said that. Uh, there was people who killed other people here. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, Jeffrey, you can you can you can chill out up here. Um, we should probably keep going through the house. I'm gonna wait. Make, make my way towards that hallway over there yeah. by the storeroom. Sure. Oh, cool. Uh. Yeah, so does everyone follow Roger? Okay. Yeah, so absolutely. there um there are uh there's a doorway just down at the end of that hall. Actually, yeah, make it make a uh, perception check for me just real quick. Uh Roger, since you're leading everyone. It's coming. Uh a natural twenty. Okay. Um so so you see it's the same thing, you like you look down this hallway and there's one door at the end and then one that was kind of like uh it's recessed a little bit i mean it's, it's very obviously still a door but from down the hallway you can see that there is actually another door there as well so there's there's two doors at the end of this hallway uh one directly in front of you and one to the right hand side let's turn right okay i want to check the right door can so, i like look around for traps i don't want to just barge in uh sure so you um you open that door and, uh, or you, sorry, check for traps. Do, do an investigation check for me real quick. Tape like, you're real good. Uh, 14. Uh, 14, you say. Um, you Table like, this, this one looks good to me. <laughs> you go, mm -hmm. you, like, look around the door. Everything looks, everything looks kosher. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a professional's <laughs> opinion on this. Table table leg, you want to look uh, at this for me, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. Uh, I'm just gonna back up a few feet. <laughs> table leg, are you all right? You seem no, kind I'm of flustered. I'm sweating really bad. Okay. Um. Uh. 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 uh perhaps, want to wipe sweat off? Uh, 17 plus. Um, my investigation. Okay. For check for Okay, that so um, so you look at this door. Door looks perfectly fine. There's like there's no mechanisms around it, and it appears to be unlocked. I like appears. Okay, um, uh, Ymir, you want to go in this door? You want to do this one? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll open it. Cool, cool. Tag. I I'm gonna back. wipe. I'm gonna wipe Table Leg's face with a with a with a um a blanket that i have <laughs> it's like this Where, rough wool blanket you, hey you, you keep... said you sweaty you know, take this <laughs> this is not much better it's really itchy okay um go ahead you all right so so try it out and yeah. shield I'll out craft a little like breeze on him it's like <laughs> all right i'm gonna so... angle myself with the door like to try to push it open with my trident from like just like like slide it outward or is, okay. it, is it a pull it's a it's a it opens internally Okay, so five, not four, out four, into three. the hall. It opens in internally into the room, not out into the okay, hall. Okay, so away from me. Got it. Yes, so away I'm from me. I'm going to angle myself at the, at the hinges, and I'm going to just push the, tri like, the door with my trident, 
mm -hmm. and like try to clear one side so that yeah. I, can, I can see one side and then I'm like table looks clear you want to check the other side oh yeah yes okay okay cool 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 okay and I I, I go and kind of check that far side and, and just kind of pull it open a little bit more and look in so you tell me what you're doing so you're walking into the room and, and looking around the other side of the door or yeah basically we're, we're high lowing so he's looking one way I'm looking the other way and I'm kind okay. of pushing um so in order to kind of get around the door you have to get in front of him um, and you have to like walk through into this room and uh, you look around the corner. You're like, everything's cool. You see a glyph on the wall as it flashes and you disappear. Fuck me. Oh boy. All, 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 all you hear is fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good uh, effect. Uh, was he? Oh. I didn't oh. know he had invisibility. Maybe. Yes. He's, he's a really good he, he's a really good thief. Tab leg, and I'm gonna walk forward into the room as well. Okay, you disappear uh, when you when you go Tab past the door. Leg. You disappear as well. I put my hand in. Uh, past the doorway. Yeah. Like past like the actual door, you disappear as well. Okay. His whole body disappears. Yeah, they or all. Just they, my hand. Nope. All you you are gone. You, it it flashes. You go. And you're just, uh, I just turned to Roger. Yeah. Um, all right. I hold my nose and go through. <laughs> okay. You never know what's on the other side. Could be more spiders. These guys are assholes. Sure. sure. <laughs> so I'm just alone in the darkness. Can't see anything again. I'm just like, okay, here we go. And just pinky in. <laughs> Great. So you all, uh, you all go one after one, just uh, appear in the, uh, what appears to be the center of um, the circle, and you are surrounded by hedges on every side, and there are little paths going off in different directions. Fuck me! Oh. Are we outside now? Yes. Uh, oh, you, cool. um, oh. it, but it, the sky looks weird. So it, um, it doesn't look like the sky that you guys, you know, saw when you we're walking to this house. There is a full moon out, for one thing, um, and the stars are different. Uh, and there's like kind of like a weird fog, like hanging, hanging over you as well. Like unless you look directly up, you can't see above the maze. How tall are these hedges? About, I want to say like fourteen feet tall. Everybody kind of lands in the circle. Yes. Yeah, so like, so table leg, you appear first and you're like, whoa, and you kind of take in your surroundings and very gotcha. quickly I, after I, I, you. I think it was, uck me, was, right. was. Right, right, right. You're just, uck me. <laughs> A leg is what you hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just talking you up, man. I just thought you were a really good thief. And then. I am. Turns out we all just, just did the same thing. And so naked man next. <laughs> and yep. I, I there guess you are. Oh, 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 yeah. No, this is bad. Um, I'm a. Uh, uh, yeah, this this is this is bad. Um, so I've done these kind of trials before, uh, with mazes, and normally going into them isn't a good option and staying out of them isn't a good option. So we go above. Up. Can I climb a hedge? Yeah, you can try. I see the All half right. naked man trying to crawl a hedge behind me in the frame, just like, is he crawling the hedge? Well, a 12. He is uh, indeed crawling a hedge. Okay. Um, so <laughs> you go to climb these hedges and uh, you are pulling onto things and the branches are just breaking underneath That's every single time you do. But, um, like there's there's no support that is being given to you by the by the hedge, but when you pull your hand away, the branches grow back. I'm not going to turn around. I can only assume he's not oh. doing well. No, he's. I yeah, mean, no, you just I, hear I, like you just hear like the of twigs breaking and just like. A shit. like <laughs> I believe the term you would use is piss poor job. 
Okay. Can I stick so, my hand through the bushes? Can I look through? Is 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 it shallow enough for me to see the other side? You can stick your hand in the bush, uh, but they are they are they are dense, and and your hand does not reach the other side. Is it like the Simpsons bush where you can like fade into it entirely? <laughs> You know I, I mean, mean like, if you wanted to, yeah, you could you do that. That's not a good idea. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> or don't so, do it. Since, since I took a step hey. forward and I came here, what happens if I take a step backwards? Nothing. You walk. You walk in in this area. I can okay. set this thing on fire right now, guys. Just call it. I don't think that's a good idea. Are yeah, you sure? I, I think that's a good idea. I really oh, want to do it. Beautiful I've hedges. Got a don't fireball in my stop. hand. All right, burn hedges. Fire. Nope. No. As I as I see just like my shadow flashing in front of me, like on whatever's in front of me, like oh he did say fire. No, no, worry, no. He won't hurt you. Which okay. one is which starting to rain a bit. Um, Bort doesn't like to be trapped. Um, and and Bort, you are you are feeling a little like yeah, uneasy be because you're like there is no force. There are a bunch of paths and it's confusing. But I, it's up to you whether that feels like a trapper to you or not. All so right, I, think- I draw. I, Draw out my short bow and I, I knock an arrow and uh, I, I look at Mir and go, ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I think if, if Bort has a path forward or a path in front of him in any way, I think he's okay. Like it doesn't okay. matter how small the tunnel is as long as he sees an exit or sees a path. Sure. As okay. soon as he right. realizes so, he's trapped, then he's then he's scared. Okay, so um, your board's doing fine right now. Like it's not really a concern. Um, table leg in your mirror. How are you going about going through this maze? Oh no, uh, I'm 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 on his hip. He's got a big shield and kind of oh, like. Okay. Uh, so you're just standing there. <laughs> no, no. Uh, so he's right ahead of me, and I'm basically on his hip. Uh, so what happens is if he drops a shield down, I, I shoot over the top of it, and okay. that's kind of. So that's how we're moving through the maze. So you're just prepared. Okay, okay. So so you are ready, ready. for that? Question. Looking... Uh, what? Should we approach this stealthily or should we should we just go, as you say, balls deep? Yeah, no, balls deep, always. Yeah. Got sure. it. Balls deep, balls deep, right? We're all, in, we're all in balls deep. Balls deep. <sighs> so how, how deep is... are the balls, though? Well, I mean, it depends on who Technically, you Technically, it would be how deep the shaft is. <laughs> <laughs> But that's all. That's all. Too <laughs> ironic. Anyway, I can't handle it. Anatomy is too confusing. There's, there's a lot yeah. of a lot of talent involved with doing all of that. Yeah. Anyway. So um. So who is who is helming the navigation of where you guys are going? Like, I'll try to help out. Okay. Like a okay, backseat, yeah. like kind of. So then, uh, you mean go ahead and uh, actually, how do you want to go about it? Tell me what you want to do, and I will tell you what role. All right, so how many paths do I see in front of me? There are four. There are there's one two there one in front, two off to the sides, and one behind you. Out of this Okay. Circle. Um can I can I gauge which which way is north, south, east, and west, given the fact that I was a sailor? Uh sure, yeah. You can uh make a uh let's do a nature check. For yes, me. Did I assist him? That's uh sure yeah 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 so plus... you can you can do it at advantage oh. if you want although that's that's hot plenty yeah. fine I rolled a sixteen total okay um if you want to roll an advantage you can you don't really need to you but you can if you want to yeah sixteen okay so um you you look up and and like I said when you look up just like vaguely just like over the tops that you can kind of see what you um when you're too close up to a hedge you cannot see over them but when you look kind of at one that's further away, like from like the opposite end of the circle, you can't see above them a little bit and there is that thick fog. But when you look directly up, you it's like your vision is unclouded. It's really weird. Um, but you you see the night sky above you and you see um, star patterns that you are used to navigating by. So you do know which yeah, way so it's I going. put my hand up into the sky, just like, and I, I gauge, I way find my, you know. I like tilt his wrist. It's like it's a little this way. There we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> away, away. Um, so I, I, I point out to everybody in the party. It's like, hey, this is where we're facing. Uh, this way's north, you know. Um, okay. And then I turn and it's like, I, I ask Table Egg because I've known him the longest. It's like, which way do you think we should go? And then whichever way he decides, I'll take point. Okay. Um. Okay, I just want to just point out, like, we've been in some weird shit. This is pretty weird. So 
we're going to die. And if that means we go north and die that way, but at least maybe, uh, oh, okay, shh. Um, I think that the, the, the best move, what is he doing back there? I think the best move we could do is just try to push as aggressively into it. It's like this idea of we want to kind of get a jump on it. So the more we can, like, like let's go north. We just, 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 and, and remember that we go north. Um, uh, oh, pen and paper, pen and paper. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I hand it to, I look at Bort and then I go, no, and I hand it to Jabari, a, a pen and paper. And I go, just remember, okay, it, um, where it. did you get, did you both bring it? Druids are so weird. Okay, yeah, let's go. Uh, just remember which way we turn. Go north. Okay. Right in end. <laughs> so I start moving with uh, with Tableg on my hip, shield up, trident on my shield. Um, and yeah, let's start moving forward. Mapping okay. our, our directions that we turn to, and correlate that with. Yeah. Um, so you go north, correct? We go north, ma'am. Okay. Um, Ymir, make a survival check at advantage because you, you do have everyone around you kind of like helping with what's going on. Oh, thank goodness you said at advantage. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just rolled a nat one <laughs> and a 12. So okay. 12 plus, uh, said survival. Yeah, so 13. Okay, so um, it is a little rough going at first. You you go, you do that whole like follow the left wall thing. Um, so you start that to go. Works. It does unless there are islands in a maze. <clears throat> yes, then you're screwed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you you go down to the left, and it pretty quickly leads you down into a um, into a dead end. So you come back around and you start going around this wall. Um, you go around keep going to the left you turn left again after about 15 feet and there's like a small little zigzag and you're just you're, you just keep turning left every single time um and it leads you back into the center mm. that is a no Okay, so we just push through from the way we come back in to the south and just keep moving, uh, just like, like as as creepy as we were, just like in a line, as it's if like, we were still in edge maze. Yeah, yeah, we just got- You guys are like scooby doing it, just like moving yeah, as a unit. Yeah, scooby <laughs> That's funny. Um, so yeah, so you're back in the center circle. Straight uh, across. I say, uh, you want to keep going familiar. straight across, same, same um, direction? South. Okay, you came out of the south entrance. Uh, you came out of the south entrance. Yes, so so you you basically went around in this maze and came back and you are facing north again into the path that you walked through originally, but you came out. Seeing this, I go, we 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 got back here again, right? Same same place, same place. It's, yes. Yeah. Okay, right. And I just I, I kind of grab and like guide you mirror forward, like uh, and just keep going off to the right to the east. Okay. Uh, so. Are you sticking to the uh, right or left side? East. Okay. Right. So go right. right. Yeah. So you're gonna take stick right on that right wall. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, roll a uh, roll a survival check for me. Me or him? Because I'm still in front. Uh, you're you're leading. So go ahead and do it at advantage again because everyone's helping you out. Uh, that's a sixteen. Good. Okay. Um, so you start going and, uh, there is, there is a little bit of like an island, um, that you do come across that like, uh, that like it sits in the middle of like you, the wall ends and there is a little, uh, I don't, I don't know, like six by three foot, uh, hedge that just stands in the middle of it. And you're like, oh shit. And you're, you're kind of concerned by seeing it, but you're like, no, 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 just, just stick to the right, just stick to the right. And you keep going around and, um, you come to an opening uh, at the end of this at the end of this maze this is the, this is the only thing that you have seen in the entire thing and you and you've walked a good bit you guys actually pr probably spent about an hour doing this um, just walking through the maze I'm and, tired uh, of walking through maze <laughs> it's too um, long of walking but maze you do really you do poorly. come out to like an opening are you inspiring people with that song? No. <laughs> sing a song, Bort, sing a song. <laughs> You're like, no, I don't do that. I only inspire okay. triangles. Bort walked through maze and I met a spider earlier. 
It was a good spider. Um, it name was Jeffrey. <laughs> Bort really better uh, Bort triangle player than singer. Sorry. It's all right. Don't worry. Okay. You said we made it to an opening. That was mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, do you guys do you guys approach the seeming end of this maze? Yes. Yeah. Why not? Okay. So you get to a ledge. Um, oh and, boy. And it is uh, it opens up into this black pit. You cannot see beneath, like anything beneath you. You just see that it, it's deep and it goes on for as far as the eye can see. But is the only huh. it's the only thing that you have seen that has even been remotely close to um, to an exit. I will, okay, uh, I quit. Let's go the other way. I will pull out <laughs> right. a little small rock just from my bag, and I'll just over the edge. Just okay, and you listen. No sound. Oh no. <laughs> There's no. Oh, no. Yep. Nope. I'm going to backtrack. I'm going to go west from the I'm center. Taking, I'm taking my rope off of me as he's going to play with this. What do you mean? Hello, whole people, and I yell into the hole really loud, and I say, "Hello, whole people." It doesn't okay. echo. It just it just gets absorbed into that. Oh, Listen. that's not that's not normal. It's a scary hole. Whatever. Hey, man, it's not that rope can't handle. And I start I start tying a, like a seat around my waist, and I, I I kind of feed it up, and I'm I'm finding an anchor point, like I'm just okay. gonna rappel down into this. Let's see. By I, anchor I, point, I, he means he ties he ties it to my waist and starts <laughs> rappelling. That's what he does. Great. Okay. Um. So, uh, you get to the ledge, table leg, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this, and then. You kind of hesitate for a minute. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me at disadvantage. Because you are afraid of heights. I'm not. Yes, you oh, are. Oh, I am. No, there are two, two of you guys are. It no, is. Uh, mine are wasps, little kids, and. Oh, and heights. Uh, uh I have it written down. There's no way it's heights. No, because. Uh, Taylor, heights, Taylor, Taylor. hornets, creepy children. That is what you told me. Heights, hornets, what? creepy children. I'm a, no, because I have second story work. I need to retcon that. Fine. No. Well, you just realized you were afraid of heights. It's too <laughs> bad time. It bad time. You didn't even know you were afraid of heights. You've Someone never had the opportunity denial. presented to yourself for you to be afraid, but now you are afraid. Okay, the first is a 17 and a follow-up. Uh, so with uh, wisdom, was it save? Okay. Yeah, it's a save. It's a wisdom saving throw. All right, so a 13. Okay. Um... That's fine. So you start you start going down and uh, and 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 you you're shaking like you're like no I can do I can do this I can do this I can do this and you're walking down the wall and you disappear and the rope goes slack. What do I feel? You feel um, it is kind of this weightlessness as you started going down like there was less and less resistance mm -hmm. as you were going down this wall um, and then it feels like how uh, you teleported originally. Um, okay. As I'm falling, I, I say a lot. I go, I can't believe that fucker dropped me. And I just. <laughs> <laughs> um, feeling the, the wind go slack. Your diary. I knew I would go out like this. I blame you here for everything. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> me being the good friend that I am, as I feel the weight go like limp, like like the rope go like just slack. Um. I freak out and I pull out my two little hand axes, right? And I start like trying to like, like I, I, I face the, I put my back towards the cliff and I mm -hmm. just jump and try to like stab the, the little hand axes into the fucking uh, wall, like the back okay. of the hand axes, the pointy end. Okay. To try to like catch myself and like try sure, to climb sure, down. Sure, 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 uh, sure. Make uh, an athletics check. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like, I throw my hand axes at the at the at the, at the, <laughs> at the darkness. <laughs> you said, Fuck your you darkness. Said athletics. If only we had magic. That's a Twenty-one, uh, ma'am. Okay, yeah, so yeah, so you um you jump out and you're like, <laughs> I got this, and you slam one of your axes into the wall, and it starts to like skid you down, and you manage to get the other one in there. Are you uh, are you just kind of hoping to slide, or are you trying to like climb down, reverse climb with these axes? I'm gonna slide down as far as I can. And okay. then try to like make my way down slowly, because um, sure. and and then yell out at table like table like I'm coming. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so you you go to do that, and um, you, you slide a fair distance, and then you take your axe and, and go to lodge it in again, um, and you do that, and the you shift your weight down, and when you shift your weight down, you disappear. You you have your hand axes in hand. You don't leave them there, but, um, but yeah, you disappear as well. And well, was anyone, like was anyone watching, same... or no, no one, like, were you watching them go down there when they were doing that? I, th I think I probably would have as well. Yeah, okay. Jabari, were you? Okay, Roger, were you, or have you booked it? I booked it already. I'm not, I'm not messing with these heights. Okay. Yeah, so, that uh, looks dangerous. So, yeah, so you, um, <laughs> uh, make a survival check for me. That was not a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that moment, that moment when the DM like contemplates how evil she's uh, about to be. Like, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm a, so I'm a druid. I have some survival. Uh, <laughs> but um, but you are you are just kind of wandering around and and you're you're running and you're a you're a wood elf, aren't you? Or yeah, yeah. No, I have a so, yeah. I have a... So you run faster than you know the average person, and uh, you're kind of making your way through. Um, and, and, and going as fast as you can, you're like, no, there's got to be another way. There's got to be another way out. And you don't see anything. The only, every, like, every single time you run around, the only thing that you're seeing is that hit. Um, and, and Jabari and Bor, you, you saw them disappear, and it looked like how they disappeared the first time. Like, it, it was very similar. What you want to do, Jabari? They fell in a pit. I'm I'm muted. Sorry. Uh, you just see Jabari kind of just clutching his staff, just staring at the bottomless pit, and just. I, I don't like the big hole. It's very dark. Also, what if I don't teleport? What if I just splat? What hmm. then, Bort? Uh, Bort save you if you jump in. Trust Bort. Bort is a powerful magician as well as musician. That was That's what he does. Rhyme, Bort, you rhymed! Good job! I don't know rules of rhyming. <laughs> That's okay. Um. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Can, can we, we jump, jump together, together Bort? Let's just yeah. go. Yes, we jump together. I save us. Okay. So if we all jump off the side, Bort will cast Feather Fall on us as we jump. Oh, thanks, Bort. I <laughs> love okay, you, so Bort. Did you the two of you, or did Roger, did you come back around? I don't know how fast I was, but it's, it's, I guess we gotta go. Um, it's, it's, it's totally up to you. I just, uh. Cool. Yep. I'm back. Okay. So, yeah. So, um. Bort, else. Bort, cover your eyes while you jump, because you're not afraid. Okay. Oh, it's, it's still it's dark here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Roger. Thanks, Bort. What his guy. hand is, his what hand is just this. Yeah, this he hand just, is just this cylinder of like green muscle with little fingers like sticking out the, the, the like around the edge of it. <laughs> so it's just this. Oh, it's so charmingly <laughs> weird. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. That's not disgusting. It's, it's it's like a green lump of finger. It's yeah, fine. It's like, green, it's like I a like big, the idea of this nature. Like this total right. walking covering both of their eyes and just falling forward <laughs> with <laughs> So what happens after we fall through this you know, gross black height? So, uh, Don't so you, Don't think about it. you all pop back into existence. Um, not in the room that you disappeared from, but actually uh, in a uh, stairwell that um, that is like carved from stone. Um, and Table leg, you appear first, and then Ymir, you pop in, and then the three of you pop in all together. Um, we, float, we float to the ground like two Oh, yes. Ooh, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, you guys are like, Ooh, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> very graceful, <laughs> this turtle. Um, and, uh, and you land down there, it's dark, um, and, and Jonathan Close. appears to you again down this. God fucking uh. Um, do, do, I, do I pop in heroically and can I start like can I can I, can I like give yes, you a fighting you, you stance and, and do pop in yeah. very heroically you you had access at the ready you're like fucking let's go <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, scre I'm screaming Tableck's name 
Okay. Uh, what? Top of my lungs. It's like, I'm what? coming for you. You, you're, you're, you made it. Shh. He's very loud. It's very he startling. Like right in my ear. <laughs> I'm sensitive you know this. I'm sorry. I, I thought you died. I love you. Oh, there's a fucking kid. Can you take care of it, please? Fuck. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so you all appear there and, and Jonathan appears in front of you and looks up at Ymir because he was the one that had talked to him the most. Um, and he was like, the man, the man, he's down here. He's down this way. What man? The, the, the mean man, the mean man that hurt us. All right, point me, point me in the, in the uh, direction of the mean man. I'll hurt, I'll hurt him. He's, he's that way. He's down here. And I, I, man I, I look at Tablet. I look at Tablet. Like, Tablet, like, you coming? It's, it's the two things we do well. We steal you and say we hurt barks people. on yourself? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, say, say it again, Ymir. I said, are you coming? This is the, these are the two things we do well. We steal and we hurt people. You coming? Oh, uh, yeah. Just just be yeah, fair. Uh, be fair, because if we hurt somebody, then we have to... Steal? Steal something, right. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, the, 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 go, 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 fine. go. Let's go. In. Deal. Go. Okay. Or we'll take a follow? candle. Or we'll take a candle and he'll he'll put it on his shell. Okay. And then he'll he'll take like three or four more of them and, and place them on his shell in various locations. So he has okay. like four or five candles. And okay. then I will press the digitation them. Okay. So you just have you're just a torch. So I have like these. <laughs> it's a little warm, but you know, it's nice. It's it's cozy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill with Bor in the back. <laughs> just he's my light source. Uh is yeah, there is there going there going What? Are the stairs slick? A little bit. Um they're worn, right? but they're but they're not wet. Is there a railing? No. You can just hold on to my cape, bro. Oh, I just wanted to slide real fast. Just fucking. Oh, just, oh okay. Just, 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 just turn that corner and, and split this. Sp- I mean, there. they're they're not. Um, they are slanted a little bit because they're like the ground that they are made on was not even, and they're not steep steps. They're actually pretty shallow. So, if you wanted to, you could try. Oh you yeah. I'm, I'm, there, there's this video of like this, these tactical dudes just sliding downstairs with guns. Face yeah. first. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna think of uh, okay. Huey Lewis in the news. Don't need money, don't need cars. Uh, Sixteen. Um, that's the power of love. Uh, and I just go sliding down. That is a sixteen plus four, a a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Okay. Dirty. So uh, so yeah. So you just kind of like empowered weirdly by the ghost of this child. Um, you're is like, he- <laughs> what? Is he ahead of us? Or no, no, no. He he was, but Ymir charged past, and so he's behind. Yeah, I'm just um, skidding along. I'm skidding along. Mir holding onto his cape as he runs down, just like I, holding him. And Steven. there's a bit of you that's like, okay, cool. I'm getting away from that kid. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> and you're just you're just kind of holding on. You're like skating almost, kind of keeping your feet level as you slide down those stairs. Um, the three that are Borton, Jabari, and Roger, you're looking at him like that's kind of fucking weird, but okay. Uh, He's very and, cool. Uh, is a I'm cool like guy. A, I'm a draconic <laughs> jet ski right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, I'm more like a, a husky, like pulling. A... No, he, he's barreling because he's like running full fledged. I'm on his cape, like leaning back, with my feet up like this, and just skating around. The <laughs> <Bob sled. laughs> I'm a large beast right now. Okay, so I'm I'm waters. a bear. I think. Oh, I think you're this is the guy. Yeah, this is the guy who's messing with the bears. So let's go. I'm a, I want to go get him. Okay, that's so, pretty much my motivation at this point. So let me just pull you all into another place. <laughs> Okay. Uh, this is so cool. I love this roll training stuff. This is so cool. Let me oh, just do this. Some okay. Can you see this? this yes. Pad. Yes. Very right. nice. So, uh, so you enter this room. Uh, right here. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, oops. Hold on. Right here. Um, and you see a man in the uh, in the center of the room. Oh, if that'll let me drag that out. It might not. It's fine. There we if, go. Uh, if uh, everybody wants to put their icon on the map, you just go yes. to where your character yes, yeah. is and drag and it. Drag, drag it. the name over onto the map. Drag. Oh, I don't have a Then circle. you can have an icon. And if you so, don't have one, it'll show up as a blue thing. That's cool, too. Uh, all right. So, um, there is a man standing in the center of this room. He is, or actually, he's not standing. He is kneeling down, um, and he is doing things on the floor, and he is chanting under his breath. There's like, oh, God, 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 God. Um, 
and that, that's what you see when you enter this room uh there for everyone who can't see this who is the audience um it is a large um temple like structure there are torches lining the wall it is actually relatively well lit in here um oh board don't need his candles um <laughs> uh, there are there's the, these so steps up to um an altar of some description and there is a weird uh figure standing atop it there is like it has these large wings that uh span out and um kind of like this weird uh oblong head with tentacles coming down let's face um, oh i know what this is oh, no. um oh these things are dangerous we're level yeah. three, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but the the man in front of you is just like is he's just robed, sitting kneeling on the floor, chanting. Okay, I'm gonna go attack. Okay. The, well, who came in the room first? Are we are we rolling uh, initiative? Like, what are we doing? So so you would have to, Roger. You would have to push past as a bear. So I will say that Ymir, if you would like to do something oh. first. Yeah. So I, I was planning on like as soon as I ran in, like thro just throwing the little hand axes that I was holding. Or throwing one because I only get one attack right now. So uh, just yeah, just, sure. <laughs> um, um, so so roll to attack. Boom. That's uh, where's my Rogue character combat. sheet? Yeah, feel it. Boom. Um, with the hand axes, that's uh, uh sixteen to hit. Uh that hits. Uh, Fairy go ahead. Roll. Boom. One d six plus four. Uh, not quite yet. Give it a minute. I think you're about Seven to murder damage. a guy. <laughs> Seven damage. Seven damage. Okay. So he uh he reacts and is like Hah! and like kind of like jerkily stands up and turns around and looks at you. And you see this man, he's wearing this pitch black robe and it's embroidered with these purple, like ancient runes and like tentacles, just like all along the sides of it. Um the hood is up. Um, but you can you can vaguely see underneath like this man who is very pale his skin is is um is like as thin as paper uh and it, it's it's pulled taut against his face like you can see his cheekbones very defined his cheeks are sallow he's very gaunt um and he uh he has like these dark pupilless eyes and he has this eerie smile as he turns around to you okay. <laughs> and he kind of laughs and goes for the glory of the great old one and falls backward onto the axe um and effectively dies i i, I look over at you and go you know i was gonna say that you were getting rusty but it seemed to work <laughs> that's a weird and, tactic I've never seen um <laughs> suddenly oh. uh this uh rune oh, no. inscribes on the floor it just goes um a one two three four five six seven eight yes an eight pointed star um covers Fuck. the the ground and it illuminates with this like green eerie light um and there's a flash that fills the room and it is a little bit blinding uh as this guy right here pops up uh. and i need oh. everyone to roll initiative oh, no. all right so make sure to make sure to click your token before you click shit on your sheet yes oh. yes please do that oh no wait so how do i do that i click the token and then i pull up my my character sheet and i and then you click, click the initiative. word initiative yep then you click the word initiative yeah Boom. that's a that's a beholder-esque kind of boy Ooh, that 22 mm. yes it, it does look uh for anyone does if anyone wants to make me uh like a history check for like Hell what yeah. this thing is uh but i'll describe it for the folks at home it is uh this it is it's not quite a circle it's 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 like a circle that has almost almost a rectangular jaw that juts out from the bottom um like with, a, what nothing go, go, go. um like a uh there's a large blue eye in the center of it it is this weird um gray toned purple in color and it has a bunch of tentacles that are like these eye stalks basically uh that have little um eyes on the ends of them as well uh jabari you have no idea what this is it's terrifying you're like what the fuck uh, yeah, I, rolled uh, a, I rolled a 13 okay. for that so you rolled a 13 did anyone else roll yeah. or was it just the two of you uh 
there should be a there's a turn order little tab here in roll 20 yes yeah, yeah. um i i'm not ta- this isn't an initiative thing this is just a history thing oh my bad um so if anyone else wanted to like if, if they wanted to know they, you don't have to yeah i just crit failed that amazing hey guys it's okay it's just a dolphin so, um, <laughs> same skin texture. They're harmless. You <laughs> motherfucker. Especially out of water. Completely harmless. <laughs> so, Ymir, um, you you have seen something like this before. You th- you're pretty sure it's called a goth. Okay. So I, I yell that out. I yell that okay. out. It's like, yo, I think this is a goth. I'm not sure, but um, I think. And. Uh, so you all rolled initiative. Um, let me roll for him because I did not do that. Oh shit! It's a dolphin. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Looks like an octopus. Actually, all you hear is growling because I'm a fucking bear. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> how long does Another speak to animals last? Person. Let's see. Maybe I can. <laughs> Uh, how do I oh, add another pin, person? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, you, do the gear, uh, the gear in the bottom right, um, yes. you, a little thing, and it, you just put in a name, and then you hit add, and then you can change the number manually. Okay. The- um, not bad. Great. There you okay. go. And I, I totally misspelled that. And Did then you not get a zero. It is a G A U T H. Yes, G A U T H. Yeah, I, I- I totally spelled uh, it like goth, like cyber goth. Yeah, like, like, or sure. Visigoth, Astro goth. <laughs> yes. The gothiest bitch. Anyway, so. Um, oh, no. Let's, let's go. Bad. Ymir, you were up first. You rolled 22. What do you want to do? Um, well, since I have another axe in my hand. Actually, wait. Gonna... You were staring at this creature, right? You're well, like I, was, you were... I, I yes. was looking in that direction, yes. Yes. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. Oh, oh boy. You're afraid of dolphins? I'm not very good at those. I'm not very good at those. Oh, yes. That's a dirty 20. A what? A dirty 20? Dirty, dirty, yeah. Great. Okay, so um, you... Seeing this is, is, is terrifying. And, and, and that eye in the middle is just kind of... It's mesmerizing and it's staring at you. And, and it's really unsettling. And, and it almost freezes you with fear. But you're like, no, 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 no. And you shake it off. Um, and go ahead with your turn. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna like try to take aim at its eye. And okay. I'm gonna throw my my axe at it. Okay. Um, are you here's here's my question? Are you specifically aiming for the eye to do more damage? No, I'm I'm trying to like make it like make it so it can't like stare at me because it just startled me with its eye. Like it scared me looking at me. Sure. Okay. Um, uh, the reason I ask is you can potentially have more damage to this roll. Like you can. Uh, kind of cripple it if you want to um but i will raise the ac so it is up to you because it's a is a targeted thing if you want well yeah yeah sure I'll, I'll try to cripple it okay so um go ahead and roll an attack that's uh 15 and that's a hand axe so plus 6 21 okay so that does it uh you hit it directly in its center eye um and it lets out this like <laughs> sound as it reels back and, and it, it it closes its eye and the axe kind of like dislodges itself, but like it, it can't um, it can't see and and you have blinded that eye for uh, for the round. So yes. um, also roll your damage. Um, I rolled six damage. Six damage. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, and then is it considered a bonus action to whip out my trident at this point? So what about you're trying to? Yes, that's fine. Go ahead. Reaction. Cool. That's fine. So yeah, because I'm 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 disarmed currently because I threw my both my axes, so I got it. Yeah, you know, it counts as a reaction. It's like you drop it and then grab your other. One. Yeah, that, that's fine. I, yeah, you're fine. Okay. All right, and uh, is that your turn? Yeah, I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna try to get a little closer to it, but I'm not going to enter the pentagram thing just okay. yet. Sure. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna come to like right about like I want to be like right here, just okay. like barely on the lines. Alrighty, um, so that brings it to the goth's turn. Uh, he is in agony, <laughs> um, oh. and uh, 
<laughs> um, he is going to use his uh, eye rays to shoot uh, three of the following magical rays. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, one is going to... So the first one is going to target Ymir. Um, because you just threw a thing at it. Um, <laughs> you got me there. The second one is going to go at the bear because it's the most intimidating presence in this room. And the third one's also going to go at Ymir. Um, so, for another day. let's see. Okay. So the first one. Um, <laughs> so Ymir, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Might want to make this. <laughs> I uh, didn't make it. I rolled a seven. Damn. A seven? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so this this beam of uh, flame just comes scorching out of one of its eye stalks. That was just like they all like turned to you and were like glaring you down. Um, and that is. So. I hardy hardy bad one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, those are the word. Those are the noises that your dungeon master should never make <laughs> when they go. So that, oh, oh. <laughs> that is um. I can't tell if she's still mathing because uh, yeah, she, she she, is still they, you, you lagged out for a second, so you were like this. Or, like, <laughs> I heard her say eighteen plus one, nineteen, and then twenty-three damage. Ah. Okay. Okay. No, I'm fine, uh, fire guys. damage. I'm fine. I'm fine, guys. I'm okay. Uh, I don't perfect. actually know any of your guys' hit points, so this is fine. <laughs> um, Great. <laughs> let's you just say you took me below half. Okay, cool. Good talk. Uh, you Remember, guys, you do have two healing potions. I don't know if you decided where oh, you get uh, those, but... I have three. You buy, you buy some, did you? No, you... Uh, uh, who was you gave it to him. One? Mm. I didn't... So... No, it's the party oh. has two. Not everyone has two. So, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't need them. You guys have those. So, if 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 I know Yamir, I think you said that you wanted to have one, and I think Jabari said that you wanted to have one. But that's that's totally up to you guys. So, I I'm fine without one. Okay. I cr I crushed one of my hit dice during that long rest we have of walking through a hedge. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> you didn't take any damage. The hedge rest. I did, I did from something. Uh. The plates, maybe? No, I took five oh, points of damage. Oh, my lightning. My, my lightning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> uh, no, totally I thought fault, you'd though. make... Never mind. Okay, it doesn't matter. So, uh... So, that was the first ray. The second ray That was is... one. Oh, I got to about that. Okay, that one is on the bear. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Bears are super strong. You got it. I mean, oh uh, wait. Right, I'm a plus three. Okay. Oh, a twelve. Okay, so that is a fail. Today. Uh. <laughs> did 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 I decide to play just to die? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. Uh, that is 22 points of uh, necrotic damage to you. Jesus. Fucking ruthless. As, as, this, um, as this, like, black beam of energy hits you and, and, and draws, like, some of, like, your life out, energy out. You're just like, <gasps> um, as this bear, you're more like a... <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was crippling. <laughs> Okay, and then the third one. I mean. Uh, okay, so uh, I need you to, Ymir, I need you to make uh, a constitution saving throw. That's uh, 14 plus okay, no, four, you're good. 18. So oh, nothing happens. Uh, this, um, this <laughs> like blue, uh, this blue beam uh, kind of tries to like, go into you like this like this ball like tries to like go into your chest and you're and you're like no and you kind of shake it off and it, it dissipates um yeah. and that is its turn no uh okay um, i just uh, want to say that your, <laughs> your sound effects are on point by the way 
the whole thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, so um, I'm going to uh, move up uh, deftly with my wood elf uh, uh, motion. Who, um, Mo or Ymir, you said that you had the uh, the health, po health potion on you? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to use my fast hands. It allows me to use my bonus action to um, uh, make a slight hand check. Uh, use hands. an object type thing. So I'm yep. going to take it off my body, and I'm just going to like you know, just like uh, like bottoms up, uh, bottles up, baby. And I'm just going to jam it in his mouth. Uh, I'm going to use your action to do that. Um, it would be my fast hands to grab the item, not to give him the potion, not to like make sure he takes the potion. Oh, I got him. Don't worry. I got him. Too late. Uh, no, I've committed. Uh, okay. So sure. Uh, at, so fast hands to take it off his belt and then uh, move in. Um, and then I'm just going to uh, just kind of like sit. Uh, I'm kind of behind him, and that, I'm just coming up and around his 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 shoulder for that. Sure. You're just like you're just like, hey, buddy, it's fine. Yeah. And then <laughs> after you feel this arm just like kind of tilt your head back. It like pulls your jaw down. You're like, okay. Uh, <laughs> how P how PG is this? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I cover, I, and I just cover his mouth and goes, shh, shh. <laughs> It's okay, let it happen. I say, I say the last time you happen. reached around like this was more fun. <laughs> so, oh, uh oh. We're learning a lot about you being in table leg relationship. Okay. It'll call so. him table leg for nothing. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> okay. Oh. They called him Farce in the college. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, so... Uh, so I'm you done. You, you regain 2d4 plus 2 hit points. So if you... Uh, so, um, Table League, if you want to roll that, because you, you used the potion, so... That's the power of love. Uh, 4 plus 2, 6. 6 points of healing. Okay. So you, you mirror, you did, uh, you heal, heal six points. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next up is, uh, Bort. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jabari, you're on deck just so you know. So, uh, <clears throat> Bort just looks at this creature and kind of like points at it and says, uh, your face is stupid, and you smell bad, and you're stupid. And he casts a vicious mockery. <laughs> okay. Um, do I have to make a save for that? Um, wisdom saving wisdom throw save. of 13. Okay. 13. Uh, let's see. Wiz save. Okay, it's mm -hmm. five. That's a 24. <laughs> I think it succeeds. <laughs> Uh, nothing happens, happens if uh, nothing happens if he succeeds. So he, he's just like nope. whatever. So he, he <laughs> just looks at he yeah, just, like, the entire being just cocks to the side and is like, like, okay. like he, he like takes two of his tentacles and goes like. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll use my uh, um, bonus action to mm -hmm. uh, inspire Ymir, and I'm gonna say. Okay. Uh, uh, Emer, you don't look stupid. You you look smart, and you're not stupid. I turn around, give him a finger gun. I turn around, give him a finger gun. Cool. So is that a D6 of inspiration you have at third level? Um, I believe that is the case. Let me okay. Just so Ymir, you have a D6 of inspiration. So keep that yep, in mind. One D6. You can use it for on. Rolls. You can use it on. Ability checks and saving throws. Uh, ability checks, attack rolls, or saving throws. Um, before oh, you know save it for saving throws. Before yeah. it, it's after you roll, but before you know the result, correct? Yes. Yep. Great. Okay. So you roll and then probably use it. probably save it for saving throws. It'd be a good idea. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jabari, it's your turn. Or oh, unless Bort, did you want to move? Uh, nope. Bort just kind of sits on the ground. Great. You <laughs> take you take a seat. You're like and crisscross. Uh, all right, Jabari. Uh, what? Great. So, uh, seeing all his friends, like, nearly die after, like, just seeing this thing, Jabbar is gonna freak a bit, and he's like, oh, yeah, my spirit friends. Uh, so he's gonna, he's gonna grab onto his staff and just close his eyes, and he's like, Nidawi, I need you! And he, you hear, like, the chimes from his staff kind of going off, and, uh, you can see this pink essence kind of start flowing from his staff, and then getting jutted out from it, you see this unicorn, that's this translucent pink unicorn just come out and just 
you can see this pink mist kind of just like amazing is just this that aura was... around it and i summon a spirit totem great that was beautiful <laughs> it's a unicorn guys um i, yeah. I was going to reskin it but then i'm like nah it's a fucking unicorn <laughs> Particularly the the Nadawi I need you. That was that was fucking kosher, bro. That was good. Okay, so what does um, what does the uh, spirit totem do? I'll tell you right now. If I can I mean, it's a unicorn. What does it, what does it need to do? And uh, here no. is a token for you to control. You should be able to control this. Put it wherever you want. No. Uh, so, uh, so, um, you and your allies gain advantage on all ability checks made to detect creatures inside the aura. In addition, if you cast a spell on a creature inside that restores hit points, each creature of your choice in the aura also regains hit points equal to your druid. So it's, it's Beacon of Hope. That's <laughs> what you're saying. <laughs> Basically, a little bit of AOE heal, kind of. Great, great. Okay, okay, cool. So, and so that's bonus action. It's centered around where? Uh, I'm going to put a raw her. Right here. Uh, yeah, and it's okay, a 30 well, foot aura it. around it. Okay. And... For my movement, I'm gonna run right next to Amir. I'm gonna join the Let's Help Amir Club. Okay. Bunching up, bunching up, bunching up. I say with my free. I say with my free action. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to help. <laughs> uh, and uh, I grab this like green powder from one of the satchels, and I literally just throw it on Amir, on Amir, and I cast Cure Wounds on him. Great. <laughs> uh, just first. Thanks, level. guys. So, oh, how much is it not? 1d8 plus your whiz? Yes, ma'am. That is a good old... Ugh. Four. Wait, did I do that right? All right. Wait, hold on, hold on. I think I did the math wrong. Okay, so, um, unless you want to do anything else with your turn, I'm going to move on to Roger, and you can just tell Ymir his... Seven hit points. Right. Seven okay. hit points. And then I will move five feet away as well for my last five feet. Okay. Uh, all right. Sweet. Roger, yeah. Talking. What's what's Thank going you. on? Oh, oh I'm I'm coming up three. for uh, I'm coming up for an attack. Uh, wait, Jabari, he was in that radius, right? You don't need to roll for that. You just cast that spell, so it would have been eight plus your whiz, because you just cast the anything falls heal or heal heals fall. Yeah, so I right? heal. I heal Jabari for, I mean, I, no, I'm Jabari. I heal Ymir for seven, and then everyone in the aura would heal three. My, my druid hit points. Gotcha. Okay. 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 Interesting. That's great. Nice. Cool. AOE heals. Bear multi attack. Great. So you um, run up to him, I'm assuming? So, so, yeah, the first roll was a 24 for the bite, and the second roll was a 21 for the uh, claw. Okay. Um, for sure, a total of six, that way that works. For a total of six piercing and seven slashing. Okay, uh, let me just. Pretty good. That. Oh, that's right. That's why we keep them around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, you, you're like, why are we doing this? I'm like, just watch, just wait. Me, me. Okay, that's what you said. Okay. You. And, and uh, then, as a bonus action, I'm going to um, heal myself with a spell slot, just first level. Can you uh, can you cast when you're in your animal shape? I don't think you can. No, no. Um, combat wild shape. Oh, okay. So you're using that little. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yep. So when you transform, I can heal one d8 per spell slot. So I'm sure. just gonna burn it first level for. Yep. And and uh, Jabari, does he uh, heal full with that because of your thing? Um. No. It's it's only maybe. It's only spells that you cast. I'm I, sorry. I'm I'm basing it off of Beacon of Hope, and that's my knowledge. So I don't know what the spell is that you cast. Uh. It says it's, it's not a healing cast, spell. If you cast a spell, so it's only spells that I cast that restore. Okay. Them. Gotcha. Okay. So then. So yeah. So you heal six. Um, Ymir. Yep. Unless, and that's unless... it for me. Great. Nope. Uh, I am. I'm out. Great. Great. Ymir, it's your turn. Um. Okay. So I'm going to. Um. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to flank. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to get on its side. Like I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I want to try to surround it. So if we got okay. Jabari over here on its left, and Tablig is gonna be in front, right? So I'm gonna come over here to the. Right, boom, okay. and fuck it, I almost died once, so I'm gonna go in the in the pentagram thing, and I'm just gonna stab at this thing from the side. Okay, go ahead with, and make an attack my, roll. With my trident. Not 20. 
Ooh. Nat, Ooh, this nat is beautiful nat 20. 20. That's delicious. That's delicious. Okay. Uh, All right, so. Yeah, go ahead and roll your damage. So are we, are we doing double dice or just... Uh, 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 you can roll either twice. roll twice as many dice or double the dice that you roll. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Okay, I'll just double the dice that I roll. Okay. And that's a six. Nice. So 12 so, plus your modifier. And that's four, so 16 damage. Nice, okay. With a, a nice little trident stab. And then uh, I'm going to use, uh, as my bonus action, I'm going to use my second wind to, to heal myself a little bit. You know, okay. To try Perfect. to get myself up to up to full. So uh, it's 1d10 plus my con. Or my fighter level, sorry. Yep. So that's oh. cool. And are okay, you doing uh, anything else on your turn? Other no, than no, no. That, the second one. That's it. Uh, I just took uh, four, four healing because okay. I rolled a one on my D10. Rough. <laughs> Max yeah. damage, minimum healing. <laughs> um, okay, so okay. it is the Goth's turn. Uh, he is a mad boy, um, and uh, move. <laughs> He Get is going circle. to his eye rays again, and, and he he blinks his eye like his his, his central eye again, and is like, ah. and um has that eye back now. It, it is a little bloodshot, but he he can see, um, and uh he is going to do his eye rays again. Um, one on, no, two on the bear, no. One on the bear, one on Jabari, who is healing, um, and one on... Mind you your know. business, I mind mine, dude. And one uh, on the trident guy who keeps he is, poking he is his smart. ass. He is an intelligent creature. Oh. Um, <laughs> so the Pretty first good. one is going to go for the bear, and that is... Uh, ooh, interesting. Okay, uh, I need you to make a wisdom save, but it is a sleep effect, so I believe you have advantage. I'm immunity. You have immunity? Great. So it does nothing to you. Um, so there's a, there's this kind of purple wave of energy that uh, reverberates out from him and like just glazes off of your fur doing nothing. Um, second one is Jabari. That is... I need you to make a con save. Very cool. And table like be ready because your turn is coming up. 16. All right, cool. So um, the same kind of uh, blue effect that tried to take over Ymir um, is no longer, like, it, it comes to you and, and tries to do the same thing, but you you shove it away. You're like, no, and you kind of dodge out of the way of it. Um, nice. And then the last one, which was Ymir. Nope. Okay, I need you to make a deck save, Ymir. All right, here goes, here goes, here goes. You're inspired. Uh, that's a uh, nat one. <laughs> You're inspired. Okay. You're inspiration with that. <laughs> so let's see here. Okay. 10, 15. Another 10. So that's 25 points of fire damage that just shoots out at you. Um, okay. I'm still up. Ouch. Okay. okay. Barely. Barely. Okay. I look hurt. I look your, hurt. Your like, clothes really, are really a little, like, like, they're smoldering a little bit. If there was a point for me to take a knee and, like, contemplate my life, this is it. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is that moment. Um, and uh, that that is the creature's turn. We're going outside? What's happening with Roger? He's on a boat, oh, man. <laughs> oh, you're, like, yeah. on a boat. Or on like, a field trip. Oh, yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a fucking... Dude, yeah, this is really a boat. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. All right, so... I had to get uh, some So what I'm going to do is uh, run under... It's, it's, it's levitating over the ground, right? Yes, it is hovering. All right, so uh, what I want to do is run up uh, with my movement. Uh, I want to uh, run and slide, uh, like soccer slide underneath it. I want to see if I can grab two tentacles. Uh, okay. And use, All of. And use, okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. You're fine. You're grabbing two yeah. tentacles and what? And basically use my momentum uh, as an acrobatics uh, and try to get this thing to spin a little bit. And uh, so I'm. What are you trying to achieve? You're just trying to. Oh, also, um, before you do anything because his eye works again and you can see him, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, 19 plus two. Okay, yeah, no, or, you're good. Or, so, yeah, so what are you trying to accomplish? You're just trying to spin him and like 
So basically, if he's you? facing right now, I'm going to slide under him, grab his tentacles, so I have him off kilter, almost like he's spinning. It would be uh -huh. the same thing as going uh, over under and tying someone's legs up and trying to trip him up. But because okay. he's floating, I'm trying to spin him around. So I'm going to use my momentum. If he resists and is able to kind of like, you know, resist, I, I want to use my momentum to carry me around. I want to try to land on top of him. With my okay. Um, Damn. I will, say, I, <laughs> I will say that the first part is not an acrobatics check it is an athletics check because you are trying to force like pull this creature uh, which even with your momentum is still difficult to do got it so first up it's a natural 20 is that nice nice <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Those are pretty nice also um okay so yeah nice so shot. you uh you go and you and you pull on these tentacles and it starts to rotate this creature. Um, and I will say that you uh, you can get a like a kickoff if you want to. Like you like in the spin you can. Yeah, I do. I, I want to. Um, so you can do uh, an unarmed attack if you want. I'm basically uh, what I'm trying to do is use my momentum around um, to land on top of it. Okay. Um, so that that is what I'm trying to do with that. Sure. Uh, then okay. Yeah, you do that. You it. Even have you seen uneven bars? I used to be a gymnast. Yes. <laughs> on this thing. Are you trying to do a giant on this thing, or? Uh, I'm coming up and under, and then swinging back around. So yes. Yep. So yes. That yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that that's fine. So it, it is it is upright again because you made one full rotation, but you are now on top of this creature. Great. I'm holding on to some tentacles here. Okay. Um. I will say that are you are you I will say that you can uh make in like roll for unarmed damage um, ah. if you want to. I'll let you roll a d4 because you rolled a natural twenty and kicked it in the face. A one. Uh okay. and then what's your strength mod? Do you have one? Zero. Okay, so you do one point of damage. <laughs> yeah, but I've got this thing and I I, uh, I look at you and I go, Oh, I didn't think this one through. Oh, I didn't think this one through. <laughs> I say, I say, this is why you have me around. I do that. Yeah, no, that's cool. We'll be all right. So is he essentially riding this thing right now? Yes, like a horse. Uh, okay, oh, take a look. Is that your turn? Oh, like a greased pig. Sure. Oh, it's, or it's a bull. Turn? A bull even. Greased dolphin, greased I think you mean. Uh, it is It is Bort's <laughs> turn next. Okay, so Bort, <laughs> Bort's sitting on the ground, and he rolls forward like multiple times to get up <laughs> next to next to Ymir. So he does like like multiple little somersaults like roll, roll, roll. And then when he gets to you, he puts his hand on your back and uh, I just need to make sure I have this spell. No, I don't need to put my hand on your back. So I get next to you and I, I cast Healing Word on you. Um, you restore... Mm, oh, good. Max roll. So five health? So you, you get Thank five you. health. Um, and then I just hey, stand up next to you and I go, hello, Bort is here to rescue you. I say thanks, buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> That's what Bort does. <laughs> that, that's what Bort do. <laughs> that's that's Bort how we do, do man. Uh, okay, and Bort, is that your turn? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't think I can do anything else. <laughs> hey, Jabari. Great. Do um, you have any cantrips that you can cast Bort? Because oh, uh, actually, yeah, Bort is a, a bonus action. So. That's a bonus he can action. You can inspire yeah. as a bonus action. Well, he already uses bonus action. Which um, honestly, I don't care if you want to use a bonus action as an action. I don't care. You can do that. I guess. I guess since I have an action left, I'll just when I stand, I stand with the my my triangle pole staff thing that I have, uh, just like raise it with my head, and I just bring it down on top of this creature, maybe next <laughs> to the tape leg. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna make melee a melee strike. attack. Yeah. Um. I'll, I'll so have to do a wisdom check, right? Y yes, um, which actually I should have had. I need to remember to do that. Uh, you shouldn't have been able to. No do that turn, but it's too late. So, <laughs> uh, yep. So, right. I'm gonna. You have to be closer to the creature in order to. Oh, uh, you're right. You're right. In order to attack, so if you want to move closer, you can. Um. Yeah, fuck it. I'll step up next to you. I'll go on this side. Okay. Um. So I got a. 17 wisdom save. Okay, yeah, you're fine. Okay. Uh, and the melee strike um, is a 16. Okay, that hits. All right. So it does. Uh, Two-handed 
is 1d8 plus 4, so pretty cool. Hopefully this hits good. It does. 11. Just whack ding! Okay, 11 hit points? Yes. Damn, okay. That's turn. Great. Uh, let's see, who is next? Uh, Jabari. Great. Can do? So, move. <laughs> I am going to run over here. Because these are the people that need help. And as I'm doing that, you can see that I, I'm, I'm running and I'm grabbing like these three pebbles, like just ordinary pebbles from my bag. And I spring and I, I just throw some like purple powder on them and they start to glow with the same purple glow mm -hmm. as I cast magic stone on them. And I'm okay. going to talk one. Okay. This yeah. Cool boy. And you can see no, it never like, uses that like little, That's a good one. Little magic missile, kind of. Sure. Like. Uh, go ahead. It's an attack roll, correct? Yes, it is. Yep. Uh, that misses. Oh. That's all I got. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, 14 is not, not good enough to hit, unfortunately. So, um... The uh, one of the tentacles that is extending from its jawline just like whips out and like knocks it out of the like out of the path. Um, <laughs> Roger, your turn, Mr. Bear. Rawr. <laughs> is this thing can I grapple this thing? I want to, I just want to grab it. Is it the same size as me? Uh, I'm a large, I'm a large bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it is the same size as you. Cool, I, I want to try and grapple it. Okay. <laughs> sure. First, I want to use a bonus action to uh, to heal up a bit um, okay. with a cool six points. That's 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 solid health. Um, and then we're gonna make a grapple check, so it's going to be um, Bear hug that ooh, a plus four modifier. Because I don't know if you heard me the first time. I am a large bear. <laughs> How many bears would you say you are? 30? 30 bears? <laughs> uh, he's, okay, so it's got to be the 12. Okay, so... Where is your acrobatics? Uh, does that, does mean, he it, get advantage because I'm wrestling it right now? Sure. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. <laughs> I got a 14. <laughs> Great, okay. A little better is a little better, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it is a little better. I could have used some inspiration, though. Okay, so that is a 19 acrobatics to oh, sorry. avoid that. Um, ah, so it rolls out of the way. Oh. Ah. So, so it, it like hops up and, and looks at you and just goes and, and is very mad. Um, it also is trying to swat at uh, Table Leg with its fucking tentacles and it's just like, what's happening? Um, <laughs> is that your turn? That's all I got. Okay. Um, Ymir, you are up. I try to turn yes, his eye away like, uh, like your friend that's like uh, like puking to rally to go back out. You try to turn him back. Towards puking the rally? Like I'm just, I'm just grabbing this thing and trying to move it around. Damn, I keep forgetting. Ymir, make a wisdom save. Everyone needs to be making those, and I only ever remember when Ymir's here. <laughs> uh, that's uh, 15 plus 1. Okay, now 16. you save. Go ahead. Yep. All right. Okay, um, I don't really have anything else to do but attack it. So, sure. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna okay. I'm just gonna take another stab at it with my with my trident. Go ahead. Boom! That's a 17. That hits. And then one d6. All right, so I do five damage. Total. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use my action surge. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take another attack at this thing. Great. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can. So. Uh, that's, uh, another, it's a uh, 16 to hit. That hits. And then another D6, boom. Oh, that's nine damage. Okay. Yeah, I say, yeah, see, put them up there. <laughs> All righty. Uh, is that them. your turn? Um, yeah. Yeah. So, um... The uh, the goth is is getting lashed at and and getting attacked and has something on top of it and it 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 roars and out of its mouth um, comes this wave of energy and since everyone is within thirty feet 
Let what is it like? Thirty oh, foot. Shit. What? Yeah. So like thirty foot diameter? Is it like, like thirty, like 30 foot, foot so in foot front of it? Thirty foot cone? Because it's, it's I a radius. Think, it is. I, does that radius go vertical? <laughs> yes, it's it's it. That, that's how radiuses work. <laughs> that's not how radiuses work. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. I went, listen, I went to public school and they taught us that at some point. Okay, but spell effects in D and D are different from geometry, sir. A spherical I, I, radius. I, 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 that's that's they're derived from D, from right, geometry. What do, we, what, do need us, what do you need us to do? I need you all to make a dexterity saving throw. X, X. That's a 13. Uh, I'm going to use my, my, my hit die. My, uh, oh, you're my, safe. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Inspiration. That's uh, 13 plus 4, 17. Okay. So, Yunir, you safe. Um, Bari, you fail. Roger, you fail. Board, board, you fail. No, board not that, fail. 17, 17 plus six. Oh, okay. And table like you are you are fine. So three of you fail. Um, the two that succeed will take half damage. Ooh. Well quick question. Half damage might still kill me. <laughs> fine. We'll take care of it. Faye, uh so for luck, would I take the second roll that's there? Or would I roll again? So with lucky, with the lucky feet. Yeah. You have to call out that you're going to re-roll before you know the results of it. Got it. So, um, so if if Next you time. rolled if you rolled shitty, you can be like, okay, now I'm going to roll again, and you can do that. But it has to be stated before you know whether you failed or saved. Got it. Got it. Um, so that is okay. Five. Oh shit! She's doing math and rolling multiple dice. Pew. Uh, I- that's not an attack roll, is it? Like for it just a radius, so it happened. Yep, yep. Uh, that's why you make saves. Uh, Eleven, fifteen. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Oh boy, well, you're down. That is cool. twenty six yeah. points of damage to everyone who failed. Zero. Yes, zero. And yes, 13, I'm a bear. <laughs> thirteen to anyone who saved. Yeah, um, uh, Ymir, uh, Ymir crumbles down to his knees and falls over. Okay. Are you at zero? Uh, table League, actually, you don't take any damage because you have evasion, don't you? Uh, no, that's level five. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Sorry. Yes, um, I, I mean, yeah. What was the but full you, damage? You, you do take it. 26. So Jabari, okay. Bort, and Roger all take 26 damage. Uh, Ymir and Table League, you take 13. I have the one fair hit point. point. <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> I can handle uh, this. Bort falls over backwards. Wait, what? What kind Bort of damage was it? What did you say? What kind of what damage? What kind of damage was it? Fire. Okay, never mind. I have no hair and one hand point. Yeah. <laughs> you are a, a naked, naked hair. Fuzzy wuzzy. <laughs> fuzzy wuzzy. <laughs> okay. um, oh, Bort okay. falls over with negative two hit points. Uh, just okay. falls backwards and lays on the shell. Yeah, you're at zero. You're yep. at zero. Yep. Oh, yep. cool. Good. Also okay. zero. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> is that your aura that you have? The uh, that is... Oh, yeah. Th- your zero. spirit totem. Does that go down? Oh, yeah. She's down. Ooh, she down. <laughs> Unicorn just jumps back into my staff. <laughs> All um, right. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stab this thing in the also, eye. Also, just as a fun side note, the fire was like purple. It's like eldritch uh, flames licking off of you. Oh, for, uh, I, I just... Like he said, the unicorn jumped back into the staff, and all I could think about was like, you remember Blue's Clues? And he was like, Blue's good dude, good oh dude. and then they jump into the picture. <laughs> all right. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, Table Egg, you were still up. You were going to stab this thing in the eye. Uh, yeah. There is an ally nearby, so you have advantage on the attack. And I have advantage because I'm riding him like a grease pig. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, an 18 and a 19. And okay. because you're boom, boys, 18, 19. All right, so, um, and that gives me 2d6 extra. The rapier gives you 1d8. Okay. And the 1d8 is plus four. Um, I'm just gonna, uh, like, I'm like I'm finishing an insult, like, in the face! Uh, a four, six, and an eight. So eight on the eight, four, four. Uh, that's 18 points of damage. Okay. Uh, plus four uh, gives me a 22 points of damage, and I'm riding okay. this, I've got the rapier stuck in there. Uh, and I'm, I've now wrapped 
my hand kind of around another one and I'm just like just wriggling this thing like I'm like I'm like trying to loose a tooth okay um the goth uh shit damn it you should have rolled a wisdom save at the top of the turn but yeah. that's fine uh yep nope I, I forgot know. I forgot so it's fine I'm so bad at it it's fine <laughs> um okay we're all dead it's cool so uh you the beast is it's starting to look a little rough he he's like the, one of his tentacles has like is like barely on um, I, I hold on to the next one okay um and uh is that your turn do you do anything else uh so i'm going so that is my attack i'm going to use my bonus action to use an object um sure. let's see um uh so he's shooting out of tentacles right uh yeah he has these like eye stalks okay so what i want to do is i want to use my uh sleight of hand i want to grab onto one that he's shooting out of and i want to hold it um basically if he starts moving this thing i want to give him disadvantage just kind of like uh you know around. Uh, okay um so roll uh roll a d6 for me then if like for which stock you grab onto because there are there are six eye stocks uh four a four Okay. Or you mean or kill the camera? Good to know. Um Jabari. Roger. Yep. Uh goes to Mo. Mo. Oh. So, uh that's your turn, correct? Yes. Okay. Um Bort, Alex. I need you to make a death saving throw for me. Saving throw, here we go. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Oh, that's that is two failed saves. Good, oh. sir. Uh, goddamn. <laughs> so, great, awesome. Okay, cool. Next person, uh, Jabari. I need you to make a saving throw for me. Da, 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 da. Just straight up d20. Hold on. I, roll, rec I recommend oh. rolling higher than a one. Hey. Okay, 17. That is a success. Yay. Uh, Roger, you are a bear. Rawr. What do you do? Also, turn your camera I have on. a one hit point bear. Um, turn your camera yep, on. Yep, yep. Got it. Uh, it's coming. There it is. I can feel oh, it. I coming boat boat. I'm on a <laughs> boat. <laughs> yep. Okay, here it comes. Here comes an attack. I know okay. I should probably not do it. Okay, so I guess the bite hits. Uh, okay. Four, nine, piercing. Okay. Um. I need you to make a wisdom save. I'm sorry. I remembered it. <laughs> I need you to make a wisdom save. Got it. Hey, where'd my character sheet go? If we go it fast. Dies. Okay, there it goes. I All remember. right. God damn it. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, so yeah. So your, your attack still hits. You're fine. Um, so you do the nine damage to him. Okay. What was the uh, wisdom saving for? Was he like scary he, or something? He yes, he has an eye that is frightening and uh, there we are. can make you not be able to do things that I keep forgetting to do, which would have made this fight very different. Anyway, <laughs> um, nice. Uh, I don't think you forgot it that much, many times, maybe once or twice. Ymir, you're still up, oh. correct? No, he's down. No, I'm, I'm he's down. down. Are you down? Save. Great. Make another save. <laughs> this is my first save. Oh, sorry. Make your first save. Oh. That is a fail. It's a seven. All right. Um, so just out of curiosity, Faye, uh, on my turn, I want to look for something in the room. Okay, sure. Um, we will get to that. Uh, but first, it is Goth's, This is the Goth's turn. Um, let's see who he doesn't like you. So he's going to turn the eye stock that you are holding. Oh, yeah. And uh, target you with that. Um, <laughs> So make me uh, make me a strength, just a straight strength check to see like if you impose disadvantage on this or not. A thirteen plus. I don't think I have any strength. Table like number does. A thirteen. Uh, okay, and 13. I'll make a strength check for him, and that is an eight. Okay, so I will give you. I they are none of them are attack rolls. Um, so I will give you advantage on uh the save if they're because there should be one because I think they're all saves. Um, so you get the target of one and then the second one as well. Mm -hmm. One like pops up from behind you and targets you at the back. Um, and then the yeah. third one is going to target the bear. So, uh, a video I saw a while ago. 
<laughs> yeah, thank you for killing board. <laughs> so, um, the first one, I need you to make a con save, but it is at advantage. 17 plus and a 12 plus. So that's the advantage, 17 plus. Uh, so you're, uh, nothing happens. Um, the, the, a blue light starts to radiate from its eye and you just <clears throat> yank it to the side and it like goes off um, and scatters across the stone wall. Mm. Um, the next one is, uh, I need you to make another con save. At advantage. This one is not at advantage. This is one is targeting from you from that's behind. A, that's a yeah, a uh, three. Oh, oh, okay. That's how, they, how they get you, Ooh. you know? Okay. <laughs> that sounds fun. Nine. Five. Ain't looking good, guys. Ain't looking good. Plus five is twenty-three. Twenty-three points of necrotic damage, just straight into your back. Mm. so like mm. this this black energy hits you in the back and it actually spider webs across um your shoulders and like black lines just start like pulsing through your veins and it's like boom, boom, boom. Mm. okay so uh fuzzy was i just want to let you know like um I, I i look in your eye and i go uh I, I try to say something in bear but it just uh it doesn't come out right uh it sounds close to maybe like buy groceries you're not sure but i go down okay <laughs> so you are on top of him uh and I will say he uses his movement to shake you off, um, because okay. he doesn't have he Logical. has twenty feet of movement to do. Um, I will allow you to make a Duck. deck save. Um, no. no, I will because in 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 the uh, it would have happened as you were falling off before you lost consciousness. So I will I will say you can make a deck save. If you fail, then you take a uh, failed death save. Just cover your genitals on the way down. That's your oh, save. Oh, I forgot about those. I use those. <laughs> um, seven plus six, 13. 13, that's not high enough. So you uh, you fall onto the ground and you lose a death save. Um, what? We're all gonna die. Wait, so is everybody <laughs> down right now? I think so. <laughs> you technically have full health though, Roger. Uh, <laughs> Table hits its head. Coming down and automatically. Yeah, you you, you like fall into the floor and just like he's never hit his head before. Yeah. <laughs> um, and and then exactly. the third beam was attacking Roger, so that is. I need you to make a deck save. Their decks. Okay. Ugh, nine. Um. So that is a fail. Oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have one bear hit point. Okay. This actually might take me out. For it, it might if it overlaps yeah, too much. You look yeah. back to Druid, don't you? They just but it'll, effectively it, killed us no, all. No, I take, I take all the extra damage. I have 21 <laughs> hit points as a Druid right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. So I have 22 so, uh, hit points. <laughs> this 26 points of damage. <laughs> uh, yep. you, you killed your party. <laughs> Stuart, Stuart. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had two endings written to this. Is this one? Was, it is. One was you die, and one was you not die. So, oh. hey man, right. player choice. Well, that's, that's good stuff. Aww. So, um, Roger, you you lose your bear form and um and feel like the flames just like licking up your body as you collapse to the floor. Um. You all are lying there on the ground. Scattered, broken, beaten. Uh, in in a moment of brief consciousness, you feel the goth and you see the goth begin to gather all of your bodies around mm. the sigil. Ooh. You hear the roars outside of 30 very angry bears. <laughs> Ooh, they were, they were trying to help us. Um, if only we listened to the bears and didn't go in the house, <laughs> we would have been fine. There, like, oh, we're trying to warn you. These roars oh. of anguish echo from somewhere. Run from us. You. And the creature, after aligning your bodies on the floor, uh, he begins to mutter in a language that probably none of you know. Um, it's deep speech. 
Well, we did. Uh, I know abyssal. Deep speech, which is different. <laughs> um, so if any of you know it, uh, but he just starts chanting, and it's 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 this low like. <laughs> And you hear, um, you see this flash of light just burst out from the sigil. And you hear this terrible ripping noise through the material plane as it is torn asunder. And a terrifying bellow echoes throughout the room as you all slowly fade to black. And uh, that is where we will wrap it up for the night. Fine. I job, okay. Oh, another um, one. Again. Uh, Oof. Ow. Ouch. Ow. Bort liked material play. This is really unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, good job, Fett. Great <laughs> job. That was terrifying. Thank to finish. Uh, um, thanks. Dang. Uh, I love you. That spooky shit. So we, we did our best, that. guys. We did our and best. Uh, Faye, say your good nights because we are we are dinner plugs. So. Yes. Uh, uh, are we are we just plugging our shows and such? Is no, that, we are. We are the already done. Yeah. Oh done. yeah. Okay. Well. Um, Thanks for coming to watch us get yeah. murdered. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us tonight on this spooky, scary adventure. Um, I hope you all have a great and terrifying evening, um, and uh, have a good night. We're sorry for letting you all die. <laughs> <laughs>